The following is a special presentation of Raycom Sports, home to regional college football and basketball. Champions. It takes place morning of game day, and it's an emotional walk for 17 seniors who will make it for the final time this season. Imagine what they feel like right now. They're in full battle regalia, ready to take the field at Carter Finley Stadium. The Wolfpack with everything to play for this afternoon in front of the home fans one last time. Live from Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina, Raycom Sports presents ACC football. The Miami Hurricanes, the young phenoms of this league, come in at 7-4 and four and taking on the resurgent Wolfpack of NC State. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Steve Martin. Well, if you jumped off that Wolfpack bandwagon, there's still room for you to get back on this afternoon as they're looking for their fourth straight win, which would make them bowl eligible. They got here with a big win last week over their in-state rival from North Carolina and did it in convincing fashion. They did it on the ground with Andre Brown. They also did it in the air as Russell Wilson continues his streak without an interception. And on defense, they were outstanding, forcing six turnovers. And they put themselves in position for something special to happen this afternoon. Well, we welcome to the broadcast Rick Doc Walker. When you look at the Wolfpack coming in, it's really nice to have a quarterback who gets it, gets some reps, and stays unhurt. Yeah, and a guy who doesn't try to take the game over and force things. As you mentioned, he's been so smart with the football. He can beat you with his legs. He's really given this Wolfpack club an encouragement. They believe they can win, and now they've got the defensive personnel to get the job done. But those baby canes are rough, too. Yeah, they sure are, and both teams have a lot at stake here this afternoon. For NC State, it's again bowl eligible amazing the ACC has nine of its 12 teams in search for a bowl right now the only team really out of it is Duke Clemson Virginia NC State can all get bowl eligible with a win this afternoon Miami they'd like to get to eight and four and five and three in conference play and when you talk about the Miami Hurricanes you also go to quarterback as Russell Wilson has done for NC State Robert Marvin Ja'Cory Harris have done for the Hurricanes yeah both guys exceptional in terms of athleticism they can beat you at different combinations. Marv with his legs, of course. Harris, a guy who looks frail, but boy, he's tough. He can hit the long ball. The key to this club, in, in my estimation, is the interior line. That's what's rebuilt for Miami. Dead big and bold once again and getting after the quarterback. And the Wolfpack, over the last five games, they've been running the ball very, very well. Matter of fact, averaging 149 yards. It'll be how the defenses go after each other this afternoon. The Wolfpack defense has been outstanding in the last couple of weeks. They weren't so outstanding early in the season. They'll be called upon to defend pure speed this afternoon. More from Carter Finley Stadium right after this. ACC football is being brought to you by Advance Auto Parts, by Chevrolet, by Geico, by Ruby Tuesday, and by the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. 
It's senior day and that young man is about to wrap up a tremendous career at NC State Andre Brown 686 yards this season he's fought off injuries he is 100 percent healthy and ready to play this afternoon also ready to play surging on the sidelines third member of our broadcast crew let's bring in Mike Hogwood. Hogwood. <laughs> All right thanks a lot and by the way guys starting to spit just a little bit let's hope this holds off till 330 big difference in NC State right now number one they're playing together at as a team it's not a group of individuals they had a lot of talks after a loss to Maryland and as a result they've reeled off three wins in a row another big reason and maybe the biggest of all they're healthy key players on this team are now healthy and ready to go it's made a difference in NC State and the reason today they are playing for the right to go to a bowl game we're ready to go it's a raw chili and let's hope not to rainy day here in Raleigh. Kick off straight ahead. C football is presented in high definition where available by MFS Investment Management, a diverse range of products so advisors can choose what fits. You see there was a sunny day yesterday, 68 degrees. Today, much different. We're down to 47. It's cold. It's rainy. The rain was supposed to hold off till later this afternoon, but as Mike Hogwood told you, it's starting to spit right now. Let's take a look at our Toyota keys to the game, Doc. And as far as Miami is concerned, they got to get off to a fast start. Start fast. Yeah, do it, especially if you look at Miami, look at the weather, and you think, well, here's a group that may not adjust to it. They'll adjust to it much better if they're at 14-zip. And, of course, for uh, for NC State right now, they have got to absorb the shock. It relates to number one. And you get big plays. They'll get sacks. They force turnovers. They try to score quick. you got to let that ride, and they get this 12th man here at Carter Finley behind you. NC State has deferred winning the toss, and they will take their option in the second half. There's Randy Shannon in his second season, and he's done an amazing job. Job rebuilding this program he's 12 and 11 and he's got him going back to a bowl for the Wolfpack of NC State it's been an interesting season it started uh, really roughly with a lot of injuries and they lost four straight in the month of October but November has been a blessing and after an off date they've won three straight and stand on the verge of bowl eligibility Tom O'Brien's done a great job here at 10 and 12 and oftentimes with uh, up to 13 starters injured Brad Pearson's going to kick it off and uh, receiving Ryan Hill and Brandon Davis. There's Brandon Davis for the Hurricanes, and we are just about getting ready to get underway. Good crowd, a curious crowd, really, because it's Thanksgiving weekend. The students yeah. are gone. That's right. But this team's won three straight, Doc, and that's brought a lot of curious uh, curiosity from Wolfpack fans. Harris, Big four team. yards deep. Comes out, fake the reverse, and he gets taken down by the kicker, Pearson, at the 28-yard line. A nice return of about 32 yards, considering they were four deep. You see the rain on our camera as we bring you the Hurricanes offense. Greg Cooper leads the way. He's the leading ground gainer with four touchdowns. Patrick Hill, Leron Bird, Khalil Jones starting as a senior today. And then, of course, Jason Fox, who's caught a touchdown, a run for a touchdown this season. Orlando Franklin, Shannon Trump, and Rutledge. Deron Thomas is in the backfield right now, starting as an upperclassman. First and 10 from the 28. He gets the call from Robert Marr. And Bulls off left tackle out to the 32-yard line. Tackled by Keith Willis. Redshirt freshman Robert Marr from Tampa, Florida, and Plant High School is the quarterback. He's thrown 53% completion rate, 1,162 yards. He'll start the first three series. Ja'Cory Harris will come in and play two. And then they'll decide from there who's got the better hand. Second down and six after the four yard game. Marv sets him up at the 33 yard line. Station Selner on one side. Draw play goes to Thomas again, and there's nothing there. Woo, my goodness, Cash. Wolfpack led by my Alan Michael Cash, the junior from Richmond, Virginia. Willie Young will put the pressure on outside. 11 tackles for loss. Marcus Kuhn, Keith Willis Jr., and Alan Michael Cash who made that last tackle. Nate Irving is back. He still is third in tackles despite missing three games. And Jeremy Gray leads the secondary that includes Floyd Neal and Morgan. Third down now and seven on the loss of one. Deron Thomas is still in back of Robert Marr, and he'll go back to throw. 
The pass complete to the flats. It's to the tight end Epps. It's shy of the first down to the 35 yard line. Gain of four, bring the punting unit on, and the NC State defense, which has been very stout, Doc, over the last four. Yeah, Nate Irvins with the with the good hit. Look at the inside pressure. Willie Young. Willie Young playing on the left side with terrific pressure. And then there is Gray with the bolo shot. Back to punt's gonna be Matt Bosher. And it's going to be TJ Graham back to receive. Graham, we saw bring back one for a hundred yards on a kickoff return. Here comes Bosher. Graham is going to try to get away from it and takes a Miami Not bounce. Not good oh. for the Wolfpack. And it's down to the four yard line. And Bosher, who has a 76 yard punt this year, rolls off a 61 to open the season or open the day. Russell Wilson, outstanding. Not only in the win streak, but in some of the close losses as well. Leads the ACC in pass efficiency and total offense as he's not afraid to carry his own number. He's tied for the ACC lead in 14 touchdown passes. You see one there against the Tar Heels last week. And then, of course, 203 pass attempts without an interception. And the interesting contrast there, Doc, is that Wilson, who's from Richmond, Virginia, will be throwing against the defense. It's only picked off three this year. Yeah, amazing with the kind of pressure that they generate. Wilson hands off to Andre Brown. The cutback for Brown yields some yardage, a first down, and he's pushed out at the 18 yard line. Ryan Hill with a push out, a 14 yard gain on first and 10. Well, if the opening series is any indication of who's really ready right now, guy like the Wolfpack, staying on blocks, good read. Mike Hogwood did a special on this young man earlier this year. And when you see what he's gone through to rehabilitate himself, you just can't help but love what this kid's brought to the table. And this is a rebuilt offensive line. It includes two former defensive linemen. We'll talk more about that here in a bit. Here's Russell Wilson on first and 10. Sprints out to the right. Sets up shot, no pressure, man downfield, that's Williams. And he's covered down there very nicely by Demarcus Van Dyke. As we take protection, oh, outstanding. He had all kinds of time. Andre Brown, 2,376 yards in his career. Taylor Gentry, Jarvis Williams, Owen Spencer caught a pair of TDs last week, and Anthony held the tight end. Up front, Ted Larson is the center. Could be the next great one who moves on to Sunday afternoons at that position under Tom O'Brien. For Miglio, uh, Bedix, also Green and McCullough as we go to second down and 10 from the 19 yard line. Out of the shotgun with Brown at his side. Brown gets the handoff, gets into the second line and gets out to the 31 yard line and they convert to first down again with a 12 yard gain. Boy, Bedix, Larson and Green, those studs up front. Wide splits like Georgia Tech had and has success against Miami. Again, Miami seems to be kind of waiting a second, getting cut. They don't like to be cut. No good D-line would like to be cut. But right now, NC State is feeling it. And especially after their last experience against uh, Georgia Tech, they really don't want to get out. No, no, they don't, but it looks a lot like sure what does. Paul Johnson's scheme up front. First and 10, Jamel Eugene replaces Andre Brown in the backfield now for Hurst's first goal. First offensive series for the Wolfpack. Little flat pass out there to Owen Spencer is complete. Not a big gainer, but it gets out and moves the stick down to the 35 yard line to pick up a four. Santa Sean Spence on the tackle. Dwayne Hendricks keys an on defensive line that actually they'll see it. They'll shuttle eight guys in there with Robinson. Bailey's is outstanding at defensive end and Joe Joseph. Glenn Cook is the senior leader with Daryl Sharpton and true freshman Sean Spence. Bruce Johnson, Chavez Grant, Anthony Reddick, and Ryan Hill are your secondaries. These guys are eighth in the nation in pass defense, and they are second in the ACC in that same category. Second down and six. We call that last play a rush because it was a technical lateral. Handoff now goes to Eugene, and there's not much there. Marcus Robinson had Great him play. hold out on the edge. A loss of one. Yeah, for Bigley, a one-on-one -on -one with Marcus Robinson. Now Robinson comes off, stands the big fella up, gets off, sheds the block, and then makes the play. You would think about the cage. They're going to get help. You only have a moment's notice to make your decision because the cavalry is there. You know, the operation looked pretty good, and the fullback threw a nice block in the hole. You'd think maybe Jamel might have read it wrong. 
Well, he, he, he couldn't, but he wanted to go outside. I think you're right. He predetermined his run. Third down and seven. Williams and Graham and Spencer are the wide outs. Three wide outs now in an open backfield for Russell Wilson. Sets has all kinds of time now, uses his feet. This is where he's dangerous. Fires. It is complete. To Andre Brown of 22 yards downfield. Well, I've learned in watching and doing games with Russell Wilson. I was just about to say, oh, he held it one second too long, but I didn't say it because I've watched this young man work before. Look at the vision. Keeps his shoulder square, decides what am I going to do, finds color. Now, that's tip. Get a little bit of help from your friends on this one. But you know what? Good teams have get good breaks, and that's the difference now for the back. And he's a sure thing as a pass receiver. He is the second leading pass receiver for the Wolfpack with 26 receptions, now 27. On the run again, here's Wilson. This time he's going to keep it and head out of bounds at the 32 yard line. It's a gain of 12 and some big plays coming up for the Wolfpack. They've got four plays in excess of 12 yards today. Well, when you block for this guy, you know what he can do. 84, watch right side of your screen, Brian. Gets the block. Heads up, doesn't clip. Smart guys, playing tight in position. Good move. Russell Williams, another. Wilson, rather, another big play. First and 10 at the 32 of Miami. Wolfpack just moving the ball downfield with wholesale yardage. Wilson to throw. Plenty of time in that pocket. Now gets flushed out. He's on his way at the 20, at the 15, looking for the corner, and he's brought down inside the five. Ryan Hill on the tackle. Russell Wilson, the magician, for the 30-yard gain on a quarterback keep. Yeah, you talk about this offensive line, some defensive line maneuvered over. You see Means Green right there, 60. Big block at the point of attack. Then you get Lennox, he comes in, he gets a chip. This is just a great athlete. Two sports stud, baseball and football right now. Coach O'Brien not, not sharing it at all. Ninth play of the drive that started back at the NC State four-yard line. First and goal at the three. Handoff Brown picks his way inside. Gets down inside the three. It'll be a one-yard game. Good recovery by Miami. Well, they are backpedaling right now in front of this NC State offensive line. They're clearing out and giving Russell Wilson all kinds of time. Yeah, the chop blocking, I, I really think, has, has an effect against young. Again, when you talk about a young defensive front, this is what you want to do if you have some experience as offensive linemen. Change it up. Some body shots, and you want to go to the head. You want to keep them off balance, and that's what NC State has done. Spencer split wide to the top. It's Williams to the bottom. On second and goal. Play action for Wilson. You've got to honor him, and now he draws all kinds of attention. Touchdown, NC State! to Andre Brown for the second time this season. Russell Wilson, he embodies the term playmaker. Watch it. Under duress. And the good smarts by Andre Brown locating his quarterback, settling down, showing him those numbers. He created the perfect target. Two-yard pass to Andre Brown. Here is Josh Joukowsky up for the point after. And it is NC State striking first. So as you go down that checklist, absorb the shock they have so far. They and initiated got, the shock. They sure did. Ten plays, 96 yards over five minutes. It had five plays of 12 yards or better. This ACC moment is presented by GEICO. This week's moment comes from Florida State's Myron Roll, who earned the prestigious Rhodes Scholarship only three hours before kickoff of the Knowles Saturday night game against Maryland. After completing his interview in Alabama, Roll boarded a private plane and flew to College Park, where he joined his teammates on the sidelines late in the first half of Florida State's 37-3 win over the Terps. This ACC moment is presented by GEICO. 
SK Menswear is the official wardrobe provider of our ACC football broadcast team. SK Menswear, what are you wearing? You look at the RBC Center, that's the home of the Wolfpack basketball team. They're getting underway. And of course, inside the scoring drive at Carter Finley Stadium, 10 plays, 96 yards, 504 to execute. Andre Brown, a two yard touchdown reception. Russell Wilson, magnificent on the drive, accounting for 65 yards. 41 of his own on the feet on the ground and 24 in the air. Based on that opening drive, NC State clearly looked like the desperate team, the team trying to earn a bowl, a bowl bid. A sense of urgency for sure, Doc. Here comes the kickoff. It's taken by Harris. Harris had a nice return first time out. This won't be as nice. Down at the 22 yard line. All season long, Champion Apparel will be showcasing the tradition and history of the ACC. When Wolfpack fans hear an air siren and concussion booms blasting from inside Carter Finley Stadium, they know the football team's on its way. The Walk of Champions happens two and a half hours prior to home game kickoff. Fans line up as the NC State band, cheerleaders, dance team, everybody leads the players and coaches to their locker room. One of the many great Wolfpack traditions, and that's our champion, how you play. First and 10, Miami, their own 22. Marv at the controls. This is Thomas. He carries again. Haven't seen Greg Cooper yet. Or Javaris James. He gets out to the 24 yard line. Let's go to the sidelines. And Mike Hogwood. Well, this Wolfpack defense has been much improved over the last couple of weeks. And one reason might be Bobby Floyd, number 31. He's a walk on, but his coaches say he plays with a lot of character, a lot of heart. He's a good tackler. He stepped in with Clem Johnson, got hurt, and he has become a valuable part of this secondary. He sure has. Clem played a good. Clem's had a tough season. Turned an ankle last week against North Carolina. Earlier broke his jaw. Play action for Robert Marr going down the center of the field. Now to the flash to Sam Shields. Does he have it? No. Covering on the play, DeAndre Morgan. Boy, that's competing. Shields did exactly what you have to do. Made a good adjustment. Good stem. Now it's off to the races. Now watch the DB. Does he locate the ball? Oh, yes. Great play, but Shields has a shot. But Morgan doesn't give up on it. Excellent play. By the Andre Morgan. Key substitution for today. No Aldarius Johnson, one of their leading receivers with 30 pass catches, is not playing today because of a violation of team rules. For well, Miami, they can get it back in one play. Third down and eight. Second third down conversion of the day. Pocket closing in, pass complete to Greg Cooper. And Cooper takes it up to the 30 yard line. It's a gain of maybe a about five yards, but it'll bring up fourth down. A look at our accurate scoreboard. Look what's happening in Blacksburg. It's tied up there. Georgia at Athens leading Georgia Tech, and Clemson leads South Carolina. Word out of Clemson is if they win today, they not only are bowl eligible, but it looks like they found a coach. That'd be great news. And a lot of guys on that staff, man, looking for some consistency. Here's Bosher who got a 61 yarder off first time. Boomer. And he forces TJ Graham to take a fair catch on a 48 yarder that had 4.88 seconds hang time. NC State takes over the ball after another defensive series. They're up 7-0 back after this word from your local ACC stations. ACC football is brought to you in part by Chevrolet. Welcome back to Carter Finley Stadium on a gray day that sometimes brings forth a little bit of water but it's brought a lot of offense in the first drive. The pack offense averaged 10.1 yards on first down. So they've been delivering the shock here early on. First and 10 from their own 23. And off. This is Eugene. And he goes straight ahead and gets maybe a yard. Last drive. Well, it was Andre Brown on the ground for the Wolfpack. He broke off a couple of 12 yard runs. Then this big 22 yard catch got them in Miami territory. Russell Wilson ran inside the three. And here's the touchdown to Andre Brown for the score. His second touchdown pass of the season, the reception of the season. That's how the Wolfpack took the lead. Wilson on second and long. And he gets up over the 30 to the 35 yard line. Wrestled down there by Hendricks and Robinson. Well, that's Miami's best bet at this point is to make him pay for runs. 
and you got to make sure you put put some English on him <laughs> because you can't stop him sitting in the pocket. He's got a lot of time to decide what he wants to do. So close to a first down, they're going to bring the sticks out. Jeff Flanagan's crew is going to measure this one off. As the Wolfpack look for another first down, they've had very few plays that have been what you would term unsuccessful. That's how close it is. They got it by the, by the tip of the football. So Mark at a nine-yard gain by Russ, by Andre Brown, by Russell Wilson rather, and move the Wolfpack up to the 32-yard line. There's nothing like being in a rhythm offensively. You can tell that the pack feels pretty good about themselves. They know what's at stake. They want to go bowling. And the idea of not having that happen so far is not even in the equation. That's right. First and ten. And off goes to Eugene. And Eugene pushes ahead. He lost that ball. He did. Looks like the Wolfpack's got it. Moves it up to about the 36 yard line. Glenn Cook there on Ripped the tap. Our Chevrolet Stars of the Week in the conference, home back of the week. Uh, Jonathan Dwyer from Georgia Tech, 128 yards on 10 carries and two touchdowns against this same Miami team. And then Russell Wilson of NC State, a career high 279 yards and two touchdown passes against North Carolina. Four yard gain makes it second down and about six. Passes incomplete. Yeah, intended for Eugene. He hurried to throw. Felt the pressure. They kind of put a little bit too much adrenaline on that throw. Miami said, okay, enough is enough. They <laughs> cook on a free run, and that's just uncharacteristic of Russell Wilson. Now he's got 207 passes without an interception. As that streak still builds, there's Cook from Hollywood, Florida, a senior, six feet, 225, and he has 69 tackles on the year. Third down and seven for the Wolfpack. Wilson to throw. That's good time again. Great pro. Now trying to scramble away from Bailey, and the pass is incomplete, it looks like, out of bounds. Jaron James, the intended receiver, junior yeah. out of Wilmington, North Carolina. You really have to appreciate the talent in Miami's secondary because he's got a lot of time. They can't get people open, so there's not enough separation. Great play to the ball again, that time by Van Dyke. So the Hurricanes are showing their strength in the secondary. They got to get their front seven steamed up. But this is going to be a long afternoon. Brad Pearson on the punt for the first time. Ray Cooper is back to kick and to receive. Travis Benjamin, their outstanding two freshman, is injured, not with the team today. Well, good pressure. That's a good kick, though. At the 22, Cooper threads his way back and gets out to the 31 yard line. It'll be a 42 yard kick, an eight yard return, and the Miami Hurricanes will take over their first and 10 as Cooper gets a nifty nine yard gain. Ideal is eight. Close captioning for today's telecast provided by Bojangles. You've got to want to need to get a half of Bojangles. Let's see, either our cameraman Rusty Wilson is moonlighting or it's the Hurricane mascot. It's the mascot. Okay. Where's Rusty? First and ten. Miami, after going three and out in its first two possessions. Good pass, bro. Mar downfield has a man open. It's the tight end. Diedrich Epps. Epps on a gallop for the end zone, and he's going to get there. And this is what Miami can do. We talk about explosive power. They can score in one play. They're not scared to go downfield. <laughs> they will go after you. Pass pro. Magnificent. Yes. Clear sidelines. Beat a pretty good football player, Nate Irvin. Good move once again. Go to the high IQ athletes and you get big returns. His second touchdown reception in as many weeks. For the Miami Hurricanes, Matt Bosher for the point after. A 69-yard pass and run. They come out, and I mean, it's really part of their tradition. They get explosive athletes with the understanding that you will get an opportunity to show your stuff. 
they not they're not playing around and that is terrific because they had no momentum to start this game off Wolfpack was red hot that's the last play for the mascot on the camera <laughs> he might have to, he might be busy doing other things this afternoon a 69 yard pass hookup Diedrich Epps the touchdown reception from Robert Marv and Marv of course throwing his ninth touchdown pass of the season there is Diedrich Epps with a 69 yard run Epps a junior out of Richmond Virginia I want to remind you that this broadcast is a copyright presentation of Raycom Sports and a use of it without the express permission of the Atlantic Coast Conference and Raycom Sports is prohibited. Steve Martin here along with Rick Doc Walker and of course Mike Hodder at part of Finley Stadium in Raleigh. And our special thanks to Rascal Flats. They've opened our telecast all season long with their great hit Bob that head. We're very appreciative of the way they set the stage for high noon in the ACC. Been outstanding every year. See, I, I think, boy, it would, be, it would be impossible to top the group we have, and they do it. And we got you know, these guys are on a streak themselves. The six straight CMA Vocal Group of the Year awards, and we're pleased to have them on our broadcast. All right, here comes Matt Bosher as he'll kick, and this is Speedy Graham, T.J. Graham, very, very dangerous. 893 kickoff return yards. He had. A kickoff return for a touchdown against Boston College. He also set up teammate J.C. Neal on a reverse for a 93-yarder a couple of weeks ago. That's short. Oh yeah, short kick. Now the thing is, can NC State corral it? It's going to be Audie Cole getting down on it, and that's where the Wolfpack will start over. Well, let's take a look at our all-tell text of war. Which team do you want to win? All right. Well, if you have a, you have an answer to that question, we want it. Text your answer A1 or A2 to 55333. We'll update the results later in the first half. Old schools fans want to move that needle. Well, now this is this is the point where you determine what will happen in the ball game, because the Hurricanes have answered. Now, can NC State sustain that terrific start? Tied at seven all. Anthony Hill comes in motion. And off now to Brown. He bursts outside. Andre Brown running with a purpose gets to the 40. They answered that one. Yeah. yeah. Anthony Reddick, the senior from Fort Lauderdale, in on the tackle. It's a 14 yard game. Boy, when you can run the football, boy, can you are king. Vermiglio with a bolo block get to the second level. That's man on oh man, no belly floppers. Watch the guys in red staying strong and tall. Anthony Hill, tight end, high IQ guy, big time block on the edge. Well, you are having a blast with this one. <laughs> Anthony Hill, Diedrich Epps, all superior human beings because they played the position you played. Tight end. Brown, four yards rushing, or four carries, 42 yards rushing. Now here's Brown back to throw. He has a man out there intercepted. It's Brandon Harris at the 31. Harris turns the corner. Who's going to get him? And he's knocked out of bounds at the 47 yard line. Anthony Hill, the tackler on the play. Wolfpack go to a page in the playbook they hadn't seen an awful lot of, although Andre Brown told us yesterday they practiced that. Yeah. Didn't come out too. Oh, long. I'm not mad at the call. It's a good call. Take a shot at it. You can't be afraid. Take chances, not a problem, but you can't hang a ball against the Hurricanes. These guys are ball hawks. You're talking about premier athletes who thrive off making big plays. Harris with the catch. Now watch him rumble. First and ten, Miami with a big break. Robert Marv offers fourth series here. Now gets stared down. And turned inside. Jeff Rieskamp led the way. He said, You're not coming to the left. Find another alley. A minus six on the play for Miami. That doesn't happen if Robbie Leonard doesn't give up contain. That's being disciplined. 34. What? Bottom of your screen. He doesn't give up the outside shoulder. He gives, keeps up contain. And the rest of those wild pack of wolves make a move. Irving up there as well. Jeff Rieskamp stepped across the line of scrimmage and said, no, nope, not happening. Second down and 16. Plenty of time, Marv, to throw it is complete to the round. Walker. Walker gets up to the 40-yard line. 
It's an 11 yard, maybe 10 yard gain. Let's go to the sidelines of Mike Hogwood. Stephen Doc, after the first couple of series, the Miami offensive line had a meeting and several coaches were in on it talking about, hey, we're getting beat really bad off the line of scrimmage. Well, you saw in that touchdown play and you saw in that pass just a moment ago. This line is starting to get it together out there and they're giving some good pass protection. Third down and six. That can't mean very good things for NC State because that's a swift fleet of receivers even if it's minus Al Darius Johnson. Hill in motion the fullback. Tom uh, this is Cooper bounces into the hole and Cooper gets ahead but he's going to be shy of the first down and gets it down to the 36 yard line a gain of four. Yeah Nate Urban did a great job 56 linebacker for the Wolfpack. And they were sitting out Joe Figueroa. He's about 360. <laughs> They've got Reddit. He's 360. These guys ate the whole turkey yesterday. <laughs> Javaris James gets his first appearance as we wind down to the final minute of the first quarter. And it's been a great one here. All tied at seven. Fourth down and one. And the Hurricanes are going for it. James handoff. He's close. He's got it. Boy, what a surge. Willie Young exploded off the line for the Wolfpack. But again, the mass of Rutledge and Figueroa on the right side. I mean, you're talking about tons right there. And they just swallowed it up. Courageous run. But boy, this is physical. See, this is it here. This is inside drill. This is scraping to the football, getting over there with bad intentions. Double tight end set on first and ten at the 34 of the Wolfpack. And now a flag thrown here. Could be illegal substitution. I don't know, but it's the old opportunity. You, Patrick Nix, you don't want to give up real estate. This is bon This is a bonus possession for Miami. Anytime you get a turnover, fumble, interception, it's a bonus possession. And they've had two plays slow them down. A yeah. sack, they recover from that. Now can they recover from this five-yard penalty that sets them up first and 15 at the 39? Yeah, and for the Wolfpack, it, to me, it's what defines you as a defensive team. Can you go in and put out a fire? First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Both ends in tight. Javaris James a setback. He gets a call left side. And James... Oh, this is a manhood battle now up to the 30-yard line. That's a nine-yard gain, Doc. And then Miami seems to be saying, hey, you can do it, we can do no it too. Question. It's a manhood issue. Touchdown aside here as it's senior day in Raleigh, an emotional day, and it's all on the line for the Wolfpack. They scored first. Miami makes some adjustments and go downtown to Diedrich Epps for the score. We're tied after one. Today's game is brought to you in part by Nissan and your local Nissan dealer. Boy, there'll be a whole crowd standing under those today. It's chilly. It's raw, too, because there's intermittent rain. The showery activity isn't scheduled to start till later, but there's a pretty stiff breeze out of the southeast. This rain's coming from the south, where, amazingly enough, it's colder down there than it is here. And that could be a factor as this game goes along. Right now, it's been a great first quarter. We're into the second, getting ready to go. Here from Carter Finley Stadium, Miami on the move. They picked off a Wolfpack pass. That pass not thrown by Russell Wilson, so it doesn't go against him. Back to throw, Robert Maugh. Big rush is on. He's going deeper. Let's it go to the tuba section. Well, this is coming back, but there was a mauling. There was cloth being pulled on this one. I'd be shocked if Jason Fox took the call for holding on this play. There's a flag down on the sideline. And there you go. <laughs> Andy Shannon not happy. Here's Jeff Flanagan. There's the hold. Second down and five now becomes second down and 15. There's the accurate scoreboard. Georgia Tech on the board in Athens. Clemson 10 nothing on South Carolina. Man. Kansas leading Missouri. Cincinnati leading Syracuse. 
Our score all tied up at seven all. Second and long for Robert Marv. Screen pass to Javaris James. Out in the flats, turns to the inside and gets tackled after a gain of about eight by Robbie Leonard, fifth year senior from Moon Township, Pennsylvania. Look at our first quarter stats, the rushing yards. NC State, we have a flag down on the field. Rushing yards, NC State with 100 a lot to the foot of Russell Wilson. And total yards to NC State. Big plays. NC State with five, Miami with one, but it was big. 69 yard touchdown pass. Personal foul call against the Wolfpack will negate the earlier hold, and it will give Miami a first down. Inside the red zone at the 18, maybe the 17 and a half yard line. So much emotion to deal with today. Senior day, Wolfpack trying to become bowl eligible, and you have to be able to contain those emotions. Seventh play of this drive that started in Wolfpack territory after the interception by Brandon Harris. Hand off James skips left and gets pulled down. Nice belt tackle by Sterling Lucas to slow him down. It's a six yard gain, however, for James. They do a real good job, Miami does, in terms of with fake, so you got to make sure who you see who has the ball. It's tough for those linebackers. Both teams able to cut back and get some yardage. Oh, yeah. Well, we, we've watched uh, some terrific running backs last week in particular. The Clemson Tigers, this week, both teams have skill in the backfield. Second down and five. Shields to the top. Khalil Jones to the bottom. The handoff to James. James finds the first down. He's close to the end zone. They're going to mark him down at the one. A 12-yard gain for Javaris James, and Miami is close to paying off that turnover. Boy, watch the vision. See, the great the great ones have it instinctually. Watch the cut. Goes right here, reads the blockers, makes you look good, blocking for him. Explosiveness at the end. Watch it right there. Get to where you see him. Now you see him. Now you don't. Jason Fox with the big block for the Hurricanes. On the left hash mark from the one-yard line. First and goal. And off James over the pile into the end zone for the touchdown for Miami. And the Hurricanes spot the Wolfpack seven and come back with 13 unanswered. Well, you talk about the conditions. You watch the right side of that line. Those big fellas, they eat a turkey apiece. That's Joe Figueroa and, of course, Chris Rutledge. Big fellas got low, came off the ball. The result, touchdown Miami. Matt Bosher in to kick the point after for... Javaris James, that's going to be his third touchdown run of the season. And the season slowed by injuries here. There's the kick, it is good. And Miami, just like that, scores twice. One on a 69-yarder, the other a more conventional flight. Over the tackle, into the end zone for Javaris James. It's 14-7 Miami. Today's game is brought to you by Alltel, the official wireless partners of fans. The first mistake of the game is made by NC State, and well, the Hurricanes made him pay. Eight plays, 45 yards later, Javaris James goes over the pile and into the end zone. And the faithful for the U. Happy to be here in Raleigh, at that's least fun. so far. I'm going to tell you what, that's love. When you sit in the stands and it's not ideal weather, that's love. You did it last week after our game with Virginia. No, that was stupidity. You went to Maryland. <laughs> that was stupidity on my part. <laughs> Man, I was so cold in the stands. <laughs> Short kick. They want to keep it away from Graham, and this is Audie Cole again. Five-yard gain. Go to RayComSports.com for a variety of ACC football highlights and features, archived videos, sweepstakes, podcasts, and information on our ACC game of the week, of which this is the last. RayComSports.com, your link on the web to the ACC. And it's been a great season for us. We've had some great games this year involving both of these teams. Uh, Miami in overtime, a winner at Virginia. We had that game for you. How about Boston College and NC State on this field? Chris Crane scores with 55 seconds left to go, 24 seconds left to go in the game. 
And often first and ten, and it looks like Eugene who runs up inside there to the 29 yard line. Eugene and Brown are kind of like co-starters. And uh, Dana Bible said we got to start one, so the other gets a lot of calls in there, and they make their own calls as to when they go into the ball game. Now Jason Sweps and the running back coach helps out. But uh, Jamel and Andre have an understanding. Hey, I need a blow, or I'm, you know, let me in, or something like that. And they, they kind of talk it over as to who's going to play. And that's fine, as long as they're productive. So far, they're over the century mark in ground yards so far today. Nearly picked off again on the pass to Anthony Hill. Anthony Reddick in coverage on the tight end. Great coverage. And the thing about Reddick and most of these Miami Hurricanes. Once they lead on the scoreboard, they'll take chances. And that's a great play on the ball. Very well done. Reddick, who has a career interception. And plenty of action in that secondary. 58 tackles, and now his third pass broken up on the year. Yeah, you know, in a 212 pounds of senior, you think about the tradition of playing safety at the U. And when you, when you get on that field, you got a lot to uphold. Third down. Down 14, second pass up the middle of the field is complete. It's T.J. Graham, the true freshman right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. A 22-yard pass completion from Russell Wilson. Playmaker. Puppy, he's a puppy, but I like his bite. Watch him get right in there. Good hands on the ball. Now watch it. Makes a move, and he looks to score. He's not one of those catch-and-flop guys. He's a catch-and-score guy. 22 yards on the reception sets the Wolf Pack up at the Miami 40. First and 10. Wilson, plenty of time. Now comes out of the pocket. Good coverage by the Hurricanes. But now, oh, that's, that's going to oh, be a late flag. Yeah, that's that's Daryl Sharpton coming in late. And he is in a tough position, Wilson was. One leg going one way, the other going the other. That's a 13 yard I game. Think it's the helmet, Steve more than the contact. I mean, you don't know where the quarterback's going to go. I'd go to hit him, too. It looks worse than it really is at this point. But, you, you know, you've got to make good decisions. You know, he's a linebacker. Oh, yeah. He's been trained to inflict pain. But not helmet to helmet. No, no, you can't do that. Half the distance takes it down to the 13-yard line, and they're in the red zone. Split out wide, Daryl Davis is in the slot. Owen Spencer outside his shoulder. Eugene is in the backfield for Russell Wilson. And now we got a timeout taken by Miami to talk things over. 11.39 left to go here in the second quarter. We got a rumble. We do. We There's got a, a rumble. NC State sniffing the end zone here again after going down by seven after throwing an interception. It was to Andre Brown. Back after this word from your local station. Closed captioning for today's telecast is provided by Bojangles. You've got to want to need to get a have a Bojangles. Well, Russell Wilson's streak is still intact because that interception was thrown by Andre Brown, his running back. And so he's thrown seven balls today without an interception. His streak without an interception reaches 210. First and 10 at the 13. Ooh, snap right into his face mask, and he'll have to fall on the ball. Smart move to just secure possession. Back to the 29, it's a loss of 16 yards. You don't want to lose possession. He had jumps on him. Now at this point, some guys try to pick up and make a play. I think, you know, you're smart to just secure the football. You're trailing at home, playing for big stakes. Smart move. And that takes him to second down. They lose it. The, the worst thing is that they lose a down in a situation. Yeah. And they're down, uh, down a way of contemplating a field goal. Time to lean on your IQ, guys. Wilson gets out of the pocket, gets outside. And now has to cut back inside, heading back for the original line of scrimmage. Why not go for the end zone? Touchdown! Owen oh, Spencer with a big block for Russell Wilson. Big block by Spencer, big block by Anthony Hill. See, this offensive line, they know what to expect now. You say to yourself, how do these guys stay on blocks as long as they do? They believe in Russell Wilson. 
Okay, nobody's open. Great coverage by the Canes. At that point, you got to make that play. Forced in the rookie. He doesn't do it. Make that freshman. Correction. Blocks down. Watch this. Staying with it all the way. That is T.J. Graham. Great block. Outstanding blocks on the edges. Tchaikovsky comes out for the point after it hits the goalpost and falls in. Well, that's a lucky break on that one. <laughs> oh, this just might be your day. Let's watch the touchdown again. Comes out of the pocket. I mean, he, he, he had his head up. You don't know if whether he's going to throw it because he's thrown it before at the last moment. This is just knowing what to do, being a playmaker. Again, I talked about Force, and he came and had a shot at it. Outstanding freshman could not make the play. The Wolfpack back in it. They tie it up at 14 all. There's the point after. <laughs> it caroms through and goes over the crossbar and into the net for John Chikowski. But Russell Wilson scores for the fourth time on the ground. Came into this game with 92 rushes and 284 yards. That includes his sack yardage. Six plays, 64 yards, 220 to execute. And Wilson on a 29 yard touchdown run. Well, time to update our all tell text of war. We're asking you which team do you want to win. Hey, a lot of calls out of that 305 area code. Man. Miami leading 61 39. Well, to vote, add your voice to it. Text your answer A1 or A2 to 55333. Thanks for participating in all tells text of war. Had a lot of fun with that this year. Yeah, that, that is a real that's a good one. Text. Wilson, six rushes, 76 yards. Back to receive Ryan Hill and Brandon Harris, the kick of Bradley Pearson. That's Cooper now is back in kick formation. Kick taken by Cooper at the 15. Nice move. Breaks to the outside, makes the red jerseys chase him, and the kicker again. That's his second tackle of the day, Bradley Pearson. Man, he can run. That kid closed some space. 19 yard return. He's playing in his last game at Carter Finley Stadium, and what a play. Man, Cooper can do this. You, when he's got the ball, folks, brace yourself. And look at the closing speed. <laughs> Talking athlete. Fifth year senior from Chincapin, North Carolina, went to East Duplin High School. Been a little horse collar on this, but you can't call that to a kick. Oh no, come on. No, no. Give him give him medal for that one. Take away his aggressiveness. Jacory Harris is the new quarterback. He throws a little flare out there to Javaris James, who's flattened by Sterling Lucas. A loss of two on the play, and now it's a wolf pack playing at a fast rate. You know, it that looks easy. What Lucas just did, it's very difficult. You've got a premium athlete out there in space, and Lucas nails it. Wow, what a play. This is a NC State defense that has played very well. There's Ja'Cory Harris. He's the freshman, true freshman from Northwestern High School. Willie Young. Pass incomplete. Intended for Collier. Theron Collier from Miami. We talked about Northwestern High School. Ja'Cory Harris was throwing touchdown passes in the state championship game a year ago. He and seven Northwestern teammates signed as recruitees at Miami <laughs> four of them play a lot yeah Miami on third down they're looking at 0 for 3 and third down conversions though they're tied at 14 James in the slot Laron Walker wide topside here comes the pass it's there complete looks like Sam Shields it's going to be Collier. Theron Collier catches his 22nd of the year. It all starts up front, folks. Watch the left side. You got an X stunt. Left side, they pick it up. Magnificent job on the left side by Franklin and Fox. They pick up the stunt. Harris with a laser inside. Good operation for the Hurricane. You see who picked that stunt up? Oh, yeah. Xavier Shannon, the center. Son of the coach, first and ten. You don't have a choice. No. <laughs> go Pass is ready. complete to Javaris James into Wolfpack territory at the 28-yard line. Well, they're not scared either. No, no scaredness on that part. You know the thing about Shannon at center making a lot of those calls 
And the thing you like about Harris, he, you know, he just he has a real nice touch, accurate with the football. I mean, this ain't fair. They got two guys who are puppies who come out here and can take a bite out of you. First and 10, moving the ball down to the 29 yard line of NC State. Hand off Cooper. Bounces outside. Willie Young has some cloth. But Cooper falls ahead to the 36 yard line, 26 yard line, three yard gain. Miami last time down, one pickoff by Brandon Harris. Puts him in position. Javaris James featured back on the drive. And he goes over from the one yard line, capping a six play, 45 yard mark. It's Jacory Harris now in. As quarterback for his first series of the day, and he's pushing him upfield at the Wolfpack 25. Harris to throw. Pressure is on. Young in pursuit. Pass is complete. And it's going to be Diedrich Epps, the tight end, for a short gain of two or maybe three. Hey there, ACC fans. Come see the new Ruby Tuesday and taste the delicious handcrafted burgers starting at $5.99 all day, every day. You have to be amazed that Jacory Harris can have been on the sidelines for a couple of series in this weather and come out loose as a goose. That's what he's done all season. Yeah, yeah that's, that's admirable, especially with these conditions. Third down and three. Cooper the setback he's got the ball runs into the pile and a late surge looks like it's going to get him the first down. Well, that's a strong piece of running. Also that offensive line once again for the hurricane they don't give up on it. And now that cash he came off the ball for NC State. Watch the leg drive. See boy that's determination there. You know you earn this in the offseason. This is hitting those squat racks in the offseason and it pays off. Got a measurement for the first down. And let's see what it looks like, and it's going to be a first down for the Hurricanes. And they keep pushing the ball. It's a four-yard gain. Virginia pushes ahead of Virginia Tech on our accurate scoreboard. Georgia Tech in the lead. Clemson adds another touchdown. Man, they leave. First and ten for Miami from the Wolfpack. Bull bid and the coach attained on the same day. Could happen at Clemson. Some strong incentive up there, boy. Collier and Hankerson are split to one side. Jacory Harris looking away. Passes incomplete. Intended. Intercepted. It's intercepted in the end zone. Picked off by DeAndre Morgan. It was in the hands of junior Richard Gordon. And Morgan took it away. Boy, that's a rarity. Beautiful pass protection by the Canes. This is a great play at the ball, which started. Looks like that's where Morgan went to stop. Let's see who gets the deflection. It's Bobby Floyd. Bobby Floyd going with your bad self. That's a great play going up against a six foot four, 275 pound Gordon. Boy, at 5'9. Hit that boy a cheeseburger for that one. <laughs> Give him a double cheeseburger. That's a great play. Both teams now have a mistake. This one stops a drive for the Miami Hurricanes, and Wilson on first and ten hands off. It's going to be to Brown, Andre Brown. Look at him push the pile. Yeah, see, that's the attitude there. The senior from Greenville, North Carolina, goes for five, and there were <laughs> at least seven guys in on the tackle. Let's go to the sidelines of Mike Hogwood. Yeah, Russell Wilson putting on a show today, but you know, what's amazing about this guy inspiring his teammates, you see that left leg? He got spiked there right before he made the touchdown run. He had blood coming out of the leg and still made the great run. Well, they've wrapped it up. He's back out. None the worse for wear. Second down and five. Wilson out of the shotgun, steps back, fires. And the pass incomplete intended now for Owen Spencer covering on the play was Chavez Grant. There's Spencer and Grant from Miami. He's from Booker T. Washington High School. And Randy Shannon's done a pretty good job of getting kids to come to Miami from there, too. He's in a recruiting palace with tons of school age <laughs> kids. His recruiting budget. You know, it's nothing more than a hamburger. <laughs> and the gas back to normal. Yeah. Really on a roll. 
NC State facing third down there two of three on third down conversion score tied. Wilson has time now it ends and Marcus Fortson is the man who ends it for him. Yeah that's a good rush by Marcus but you better credit his secondary that is a coverage sack. She's sitting back here. She both got to be gone. That's because that secondary has taken out good old winner quilts and put them all over the NC State receivers. <laughs> oh, your alliteration is in another grade today. <laughs> the secondary is playing well. Though. I mean, there's nobody running free. You got people bailing for fleece all over the South. Fourth down. Here's him with a punt nearly blocked. Boy, he'll pay for that, but he almost had it. Cooper at the 45 and gets into Wolfpack territory at the 47. Great field position for the Hurricanes. A 40-yard punt uh, under duress and a seven-yard return. And now there's a penalty against Miami. Yep. Steve, they've been close all afternoon. See, it's... It's tough because you are trained to go where the ball will be, not where the kicker is. Might have been a little bit of interference by the up back, but I wouldn't buy that. I think Randy disappointed because they go over this. The aiming point has got to be up ahead, not where the guy is. Sam Shields, you know, love the fact that he's courageous in that, but it's a technique you have to be disciplined with. And he's getting some kind words of advice from Joe Panuzio. Constructive criticism. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sam Shields is an excellent story. He's a young man who's kind of fallen off the radar in the depth chart. He's back there today, but he's also been playing special teams and contributing. And that roughing the pat, the kicker penalty gives the Wolfpack the ball and gives him field position out to the 31 yard line. Jamel Eugene on the tack on the play and as a one yard game. He's second down and about nine coming up here for the Wolfpack who, who get a life after Miami makes a mistake. It's not a turnover but it's as good as it because they were going to get the ball back near midfield. Our first and ten line is brought to you by SeatExchange.com, the official ticket exchange partner of the ACC. Eugene is back. Fake the draw, play action, pass is complete. Out there to Anthony Hill. Hill has some running room. And it's driven out of bounds after a 21 yard gain at the Miami 47 yard line. Oh, they, they needed that in the worst way. Let's see who gets a couple of blocks on, on this play. Well, inside, that's heel. Look outside. The receiver stayed with us the whole way. Boy, that's the job. That is a really good job. Anthony Hill, big boy, can run too. Watch him at the end. Hill has been. Uh, Bothered by injuries in his career. Missed four games this year. Missed all of last year. Wilson has time. Scrambles. Rushed by Ryan Hill. Pass complete. Jay Smith. Redshirt freshman from Norfolk, Virginia. Makes his first catch of the day. Of the year, in fact. An eight-yard pass reception from Russell Wilson. It all starts with pass protection. That time there was very little of it. Hurricanes turning up the heat. Again, the coverage is sound. So it's second down and two on the gain of eight. Fast moving first half, under five to play here in the first half, and it's tied at 14. We'll pack moving. And off Eugene bounces out. But Fortson won't let him escape the 40 yard line, so there's no gain on the play. Yeah, Alan Bailey. Was all over that play. Look, the Hurricanes have fixed whatever was broken in terms of their defending the run. No, it, it looked like in their open possession that NC State had the formula that Georgia Tech had success with. Well, they well, that's run, over. they've run the ball well. 150 yards, Doc, yeah. average over the last five games, including 157 on a pretty good run defense, Florida State. Third down and one. We got a whistle and possibly a timeout here. That's going to be taken by Miami. Miami takes the timeout. That's their second timeout. They want to talk things over. We'll take a break with them with 338 left to go in the first half. It's all nodded up at 14 in Raleigh. Back in 
Carter Finley Stadium, our Raycom ACC game of the week. A beauty so far, tied at 14, but not tied in the statistical category. Hurricanes 39 yards rushing. We're talking about the Wolfpack, and they've achieved 128. They had a season high 187 against North Carolina last week. This is the eighth play of this drive. It started with an interception in the end zone. Jamel Eugene breaks out. He gets down to the 19 yard line. Strong piece of running. Again, it's the ball fakes. It pay, they pay dividends. Freezes the linebackers. You truly don't know who has the ball. Now you watch this. See the fake inside. Who has the ball? Eugene does great block up front. Ted Larson, a mule of a block and great running. Also a nice block there by Mears Green, fifth year senior, a walk on from Wilmington, North Carolina, first and 10. Just inside the 20, here's Wilson, steps up, fires, no, dropped by Eugene with Glenn Cook covering. And let's go to the sidelines and Mike Hogwood. Steve, you touched on it, Jamel, Eugene, Andre Brown, interchangeable parts. Matter of fact, Dana Bible says when he's calling to play, he doesn't even know which one is in there, but he does say Eugene is one heck of a competitor. And Jamel Eugene says it is great to have Andre Brown back and healthy, which he wasn't earlier this season, and that's made a huge difference, I think, in both of them because they can play rested. They certainly can. This truncated drive started with a pass interception it fueled by a roughing the kicker call it's in its ninth play now to throw on second down with room to spare to Eugene it is incomplete and it's intended it's intended for Eugene Daryl Sharpton step for step with him out of the backfield oh I tell you what when you can cover a back like uh, like in this case Jamel Eugene he looks for the ball the final moment ball came up a little short but I'll give 5 0 some credit on that. Daryl Sharpton, good recovery, because I really believe that Graham had him coming out of the route. Well, Dana Bible, the offensive coordinator for the Wolfpack, said, We've got to know where 50 is at all times, because he's a good one. He put it right there. Third down. Wolfpack now tied up. Wilson scrambling out of the pocket. Has the first down inside the 10 at the nine yard line. Boy, you know that is frustrating. Marcus Forston. One of those babies for Miami has done a good job rushing the quarterback, but you almost have to rush with spy techniques in mind. That time they run a game, Becker comes inside, and that is Marcus Robertson, and this young man just finds the seams. Russell Wilson, he's a beast. <laughs> First and ten. First and goal from the nine. Wilson out of the shotgun. Looking up, he's got people all over his case. Headed to the sidelines, and he throws it away. In hot pursuit there, intended for Smith. In hot pursuit was Marcus Robinson. Boy, Jarrell McCullough makes a real nice cut block at the end of that. This offense realizes what Wilson will and can do. They don't quit. They keep trying to block. They keep looking for things. They have taken on this quarterback's personality. Well, all season long, we've been following the road to Tampa Bay, the ACC football championship next Saturday. All uh, four teams remain in the hunt, and we'll know which two are standing by early this evening. Should be great games here this afternoon. Of course, if Virginia Tech wins, they go. If Boston College wins their game at home against Maryland, they go. Marcus Robinson is down with an injury. A true freshman from Homestead, Florida, oh, who made that too. play. See the emotion though, McCullough showing you some emotion. And that's what you need now. This is, this is a street fight here. All right, Robinson under his own power heads to the sideline. There's McCullough. The Big right man. tackle out of Jamestown, North Carolina. He's another one of those full turkey consumers. <laughs> <laughs> you just put the whole bird in front of him. Yeah. Seriously. Especially Stand. if you fry it. You deep fry that bird. <laughs> Oh, oh man. You I, had one this. I bet you had one this week. Well, I'll tell you what, Brian Mitchell, former Washington Redskins, terrific player. He would he, he dropped some in the uh, the fryer. A little peanut oil on it. Oh, unbelievable. 12 play of the drive. Started with an end zone interception. Back to throw it's Wilson on second and goal. Pass is broken up. And a nice play by Glenn Cook. Linebacker. Pass intended there for TJ Graham. I'd love to watch these Hurricanes linebackers and secondary plans to pick up basketball. Now I'm telling you what, they just make play. These guys, they go find the football. 
and you think you got one beat. Here's Cook playing inside at linebacker. Ah, oh, man, got in the way with a little touch. That's called senior leadership. Third and goal. Blitz is on. Can Wilson get away? No. Great play by Marcus Forster. <laughs> Oh, Forsen, he's been chasing and chasing, and finally he gets the rabbit. I tell you what, young fella been going after it. That's got to be hard. Coming around the curve, and he has chased all day long. Today he gets one. And that changes a chance at a touchdown into a field goal opportunity to break this tie. It's going to be a 39-yard kick by Josh Chikowski. He's 12 of 15. His longest is 41. Out of the hold of Bradley Pearson. Kick is up. And it's good. It looks better than his point after. <laughs> Which lets <laughs> off the sidebar and went over the crossbar and in. Well, the Wolfpack take the lead. They chew up, got almost eight minutes of clock after the interception in the end zone. Their drive was kept alive by a Miami roughing the kicker call after the third play. And now the Wolfpack back on top of the minute 47 left to go. Well, the win streak's gone three games, and rushing has been the key against Duke, 159 yards. Against Wake Forest, the Wolfpack rush for 149 yards. Russell Wilson toting the mail and going into the end zone. And against the Tar Heels last week, a season high of 187 yards rushing. First half of the season, they were 0-4, and, and they rushed 483 yards. They're 3-0 and since then. And stand themselves in chance with 82.7 yards rushing defense. That's, that's, that's the key. They've stopped others from running, and... Wilson has created some balance in the offense himself. Yeah, that's the thing that the hidden, hidden yardage in it is Wilson runs. You know, exactly. don't be misled. Wilson has been a primetime player, and of course, a healthy Brown and a very active uh, Eugene. It just gives him a lot. This is a good football team. Bradley Pearson getting ready to kick off after the field goal, and deep back for Miami, Ryan Hill. And Greg Cooper. They're all trying to make up for the loss of Travis Benjamin, the true freshman, outstanding total offense player who is out with an, with an injury. An idea of the wind down on the field and ball blew off the tee. <laughs> it's a wolf cry. Now they're having fun here in Raleigh. It's been a great second half of the season. They, they and they responded last year with a great second half, but then after they sure did. after the win. Over the, over the Tar Heels, it didn't go well for them. Look at the wind blowing off the tee. It's swirling, and we're expecting rain. We haven't had too much. Occasional sprinkles. Wolf Pearson with a kickoff. Cooper at the five. Cooper brought down by Ryan Goodman at the 31 yard line. A 26 yard return. Raps the flats. Bob that head from the album. Still feels good. Got us going for our 13th week this fall. Marking high noon in the ACC. And coming up next Wednesday, December 3rd, the guys will be appearing on the Rockefeller Tree Lighting Special on NBC. They'll perform a Christmas song from the new Greatest Hits Volume 1 CD. So get all your news on the group at www.rascalflats.com. Gary LaVox, Joe Don Rooney, Jay DeMarcus, thank you so much for lending your talents to our use to open up every Saturday afternoon. Corey Harris quarterback draw or busted play. And he is going to be pushed out of bounds by Nate Irvin and Marcus Kuhn at the 29 yard line. I think it was a draw. I really do. I think it's just a design draw. Could be wrong on that. I will correct that and change it and say that was a busted play. <laughs> because James never looked back at him at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was your next guess. Yeah. Oh, Javaris James said, I'm out of here. I'm going to block. <laughs> <laughs> Ja'Cory Harris looks at second down and 12. Two freshman from Miami. That's Gordon in motion over the formation. And off James. Oh, Nate Irvin. No chance. Man, man, man. Sophomore from Wallace, North Carolina, throws James for a loss of two. Watch this cyborg 
come down the line. Chase, on this, no way you can block him. Orlando Franklin took a peekaboo. He was gone. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you talk about Cash, Urban, Michel. I mean, this is no fluke. Timeout on the field, called by the Wolfpack. Miami facing third and long, and they trail the Wolfpack by three. Well, look at our all tell text of war. Yeah. Which team do you want to win a dramatic change? A wolf pack now. The 919ers are coming back. 62 to 38 percent. You can still vote. There are the numbers to text in. Third down. Miami sat two of five on third down conversions. They trail by a field goal. Play action for Jacory Harris. Floats one out there, and it is knocked away. Great play there by Morgan. DeAndre Morgan, a sophomore from Riviera Beach, Florida. Yeah, they had it covered. They had it locked down. Pretty good pass protection by Miami, but even better secondary work in the zone. I mean, they would have been impossible, nearly impossible to complete that pass. That's good defense. And possibly facing some good field position. Matt Bosher to punt it away. He's had punts of 61 and 48 yards. T.J. Graham is back as you look at DeAndre Morgan, who made that great play. So the Wolfpack timeout looks timely here. Yeah. They're going to get the ball back. Well, Mike Archer, and of course, Patrick Nick going at it. Oh, a floater by Bosher. This is a beautiful kick. Fair catch called for by Graham at the 24 yard line. It hangs up there over four and a half seconds, and it's a 50 yard kick for weapon. Matt Bosher. That is a weapon. That is beautiful. Nice kick by Bosher, who's done it all. He's a sophomore. He does all the kicking. Scores Georgia now lengthens their lead on Georgia Tech. Clemson 24 7 over South Carolina on our accurate scoreboard. How about that Big 12 North? Cincinnati 13 3 at the half over Syracuse. And this is a playoff yeah. game for the FCS series. Appalachian State leading South Carolina State. That game going on in Boone, North Carolina 17 14. First and 10 Wolfpack back at their 24. Wilson to throw. Gets out of there. And just puts it into the ground. Russell Making Wilson the tackle or point. putting the pressure on was Josh Holmes. Second down. That brings up second down. You know, people have different levels of desire. You know, everybody can sound fired up, but it's not what you say as a senior or upperclassman, it's what you do. And there's several people playing with a high level of intensity and 5 0 right there. McCullough, this boy's playing like a madman. Russell Wilson has missed his last five passes. Minute 10 left to go. Draw play goes to Eugene. He gets to the outside. Dances around his receiver who made a block and he gets up to the 41 maybe the 42 yard line it's going to be a 17 yard gain Jarvis Williams put quite a shadow out there on the end yeah good you know what great eyes uh, franchise because Jarvis Williams could have picked up a clip on this play but he doesn't watch the madman see I mean that that time he didn't get a chance to get nasty but he has been playing out of his mind but Jarvis Williams number five didn't clip smart play Wilson steps up and gets back to the original line of scrimmage Marcus Robinson who limped off the field a little while ago. Good to see him back on the field. Gets up slowly. May not be 100 percent but he's out there. He is. Looks like a timeout now called here by NC State. They're down to their final timeout with 56.8 seconds left to go. Tom O'Brien's team in the lead. Look at the Coastal Division and the Miami Hurricanes are four and three seven four overall. Now they cannot win in a three way tie even if Virginia Tech wins today because the three way tie actually goes to Georgia uh, actually goes to Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech all they got to do is beat Virginia but that's easier said than done. Miami though has a lot to fight for a better bowl and also to go five and three. And that would match the best record in the league. You could say, hey, nobody won more than we did in yeah. ACC play. No, it's especially with the freshman, 99 in your screen, one of the guys, a freshman, the young puppies they have playing and playing 
at an extremely high level. Well, the thing that you come away with with Miami, no matter what happens today, no matter what happens in their bowl game, Randy Shannon looks like he's brought the U back. No doubt. And they've got uh, some great young kids here that have been fascinating to watch. Uh, giving a true freshman like Ja'Cory Harris the, the freedom that he's had as quarterback. All right, oh, Russell Wilson. Good kids. He does. Second down and 10. Wilson sprints out. Avoids one tackle. He's going to keep. Chewing time off the clock. Has it organized. Gets into the secondary. And falls flat at the 25. Now they have a timeout left. Won't have to execute it. 42 seconds left to go. The clock stops automatically on the first down, but we have a flag. Oh, they boy. carry this all the way back. And that's the thing that I was so I was amazed by how they had avoided clips and holding with this kid doing so much running. 34 yards negated. Jeff Flanagan and his crew to talk it over. And that look on Tom O'Brien's face says it all. Steve, he's doing this kind of running against Miami. I mean, it's not like me and you out here trying to tackle the guy. This guy's going out here against these Canes. This is a very good yeah. defense. They are actually in the country, Doc. They are 20th in total defense. Yeah, I'm so telling you. He, he makes this thing look easy. But apparently, I did not see a signal from Flanagan, from Jeff Flanagan. It's a block in the back. Okay. Block in the back. Negates the run and brings up second down and 20. Less than a half minute to play. Looks like the Wolfpack going to play out the string here unless Eugene can get out of running room. And he cannot pick up the first down, so the clock will continue to run and unless the Wolfpack want to use another timeout. Big plays. There you go. 12 point yards or more rushing. They got nine. They have three plays of 16 or better passing. And they're going to let the clock run out here in the first half. The headsets come off. It's time to head to the locker room. Tom O'Brien doesn't want to risk. Not happy, though. Not happy. No. no they, they, an interception set up a Miami score. And, uh, of course, they pushed themselves back on that drive. And our Mike Hogwood is standing by with Wolfpack coach Tom O'Brien. Well, Tom, first of all, your quarterback put on a show there in the first half. Yeah, he's awful good and he makes a lot of people miss, but uh, you know, we've been giving away a lot. We got to play a lot better than we're playing. What about defense? What adjustment do you have to make there? Well, we've given up a couple of big plays because we made some mistakes, so we got to get straightened out there and, you know, a dumb play on the foul. What do you tell your team in the locker room? Nothing or nothing. We've got a lot to play for. You know, our season's on the line. They better be ready to play 30 minutes. All right. Thanks. It's going to be a heck of a second half, I'll tell you that. Tom O'Brien headed to the locker room to join his NC State Wolfpack, who lead here at halftime 17-14. ACC football is brought to you by Ruby Tuesday by GMC by Advance Auto Parts by Sonic Drive-In by Cooper Tires by Acura and by Geico. Two teams playing like it is the final Saturday of the regular season. NC State leading Miami by a field goal here in Raleigh, North Carolina, 17-14. Mike Hogwood with you at halftime. What a first half we had. This is one whale of a football game, folks. It was NC State who got the scoring started early, and their quarterback, Russell Wilson, led them right down the field and watched the footwork here to buy some time and find Andre Brown in the end zone. Then Miami gets a big play. Diedrich Epps on the reception. You heard Tom O'Brien say that the secondary made a mistake there. It was obvious nobody was around him. Then Varis James into the end zone. It is 14 to 7. Now watch this play. This is one of the plays of the year, folks. Russell Wilson turns on the Jets into the end zone for the touchdown. 
Tied it at 14, an NC State field goal has made it 17-14 here at halftime as the rain has just started to arrive here at Carter Finley Stadium. Take a look now at our advanced auto parts. Drive to the championship in the Atlantic Division. Florida State at five and three, but playing outside the league today. Boston College and Maryland playing. Boston College wins, they're in the championship game. They lose, Florida State goes to Tampa next week. In the coastal standings, Georgia Tech playing Georgia today. Virginia Tech and Virginia, we've been updating your scores on that game. We'll update you again in a moment. Virginia Tech wins there in Tampa. The Hokies lose. Georgia Tech will represent the Coastal Division in Tampa for the ACC Championship next Saturday. Halftime here in Raleigh. A lot on the line for both these teams. State is up by a field goal. I'm Johnny Caraba. And I'm Damian Mandola. And Caraba's Italian Grill presents his favorite ACC moment. In this week's favorite ACC moment, we take a look back at that great game last year between State and Miami. Stephen Hoshka right there hit a 42-yard field goal in the first overtime. The win was Tom O'Brien's first in the Orange Bowl and the first NC State over win over Miami since 1971. Our favorite moment brought to you by Carabas. Good things happen around our table. Well, good things happening here in Raleigh today on a raw, brisk day. State's up by a field goal. Nine bowl tie-ins for the ACC. NC State has to win today to be bowl eligible. Of course, the winner next week in the championship game goes to the Orange Bowl. The Chick-fil-A Bowl in Atlanta gets the first pick after that. And of course, there's a new bowl in Washington, D.C. this year, but you see all the tie-ins with the ACC. So at least nine teams will be going bowling NC State, hoping that they are one of them, but they have to win today, and we have a big showdown going here today. No doubt about it. Oh, time to tell you now about our Cooper Tire big all right, let's take a look now at some of the plays of the year. We want to take a look at, we'll do that in a moment. But right now, let's take a look at the plays of the year. final day of the regular season we had to have those big plays didn't we? we've had some big plays today by a senior Andre Brown who has broken off a couple of big runs great to see him healthy made a catch and of course this was senior day here in Raleigh today and Andre Brown celebrated his senior day it's kind of fun on our last broadcast to look at some of those big plays that we've had this year now it's time for our Cooper Tire big stop of the week and this week big stop comes from Virginia Tech's Macho Harris, who picks off a Zach Asak pass and returned it 23 yards for a game ceiling touchdown last weekend against Duke. The interception was Harris's second of the day and the Hokies fourth overall. That, folks, is our Cooper Tire big stop of the week. We're at halftime in Raleigh, NC State leading Miami 17-14. We're back after this word from your local ACC station. Oh, 
tell you what, it has been great having Rascal Flats a part of uh, our show all year long. NC State over Miami, 17-14. There are a lot of important games that are going on right now. We want to check our Outback Steakhouse halftime scoreboard. A lot of games going on at noon. Look at Georgia over Georgia Tech, 28-12. Clemson, how about the Tigers? They could be bowl eligible if they continue with that score and beat the Gamecocks. Virginia, Virginia Tech all tied. Hokies win. They're in the championship game. Kansas leads Missouri. Second quarter score there. And look at Appalachian State up by just a field goal. Many thought that might be a blowout today. Not so, says the MEAC champion, South Carolina State Bulldogs, 17-14. Time to go back to Stephen Doc. I got this prediction second half. We're going to see more points scored. This is a great game. This has been a great game. Both teams have delivered some pretty stiff punches in the first half, and both teams have responded in kind. I, I really like the way that Miami bowed their back once NC State got that long drive, and they came back and scored. Yeah, we keep saying youth, and that sure is a characteristic of Miami, but we can't slight them. They have a lot of skill. But I'll tell you what, NC State came out like gangbusters, took that right hook across the chin, and they've recovered. So we've got a heck of a ball game. Yeah, Wolfpack lead it here by three. Let's take a look at first half highlights. And that drive was a thing of beauty to the Wolfpack engineer. Nine plays, and Russell Wilson got them inside the right territory. Yeah, Steve, he's been the best player on the field. No question about it here on that pass to Brown. And that uh, puts it up 7 on the very next series. First play from scrimmage. Diedrich Epps takes a 69-yard area from Robert Marr. A real good route, too, to get himself open. And then the interception on a halfback pass. That was not Russell Wilson throwing the ball. It was Andre Brown picked off by Harris, and this allowed the Hurricanes to get back on the board and take the lead. Yeah, James, real shifty move to get in. This time goes over the top for the Hurricanes, and Miami had answered. 14-7, but the Wolfpack wasn't done yet. They drained a lot of time off the clock, and here comes Russell Wilson capping a long march with this 29-yard run. Yeah, a lot of blocks, a lot of people to say thank you to in no more in particular down south. You see TJ with the block for the Wolfpack. Now Wolfpack capped it off with that interception in the end zone. That set up a, an eight-minute drive that was capped by a field goal. As you see, Wilson gets sacked by Forston. Forston's had a strong first half for the Hurricanes. Yeah, he really has. And Tchaikovsky kicks one over the bar. And that's our lead right now for NC State by a 17-14 count. And let's take a look at our Hyundai halftime stats. You see the rushing yardage again. NC State 170 already at halftime. Their season high is 187. Yeah, and a lot of that has to go to Russell Wilson, but he's part of the group. Both teams have turned the ball over. State, of course, gained three on theirs, and Miami took seven on theirs. Third down conversions will play a factor in the second half. Miami always seems to find itself in a hole at 34% on the season. When we come back, more from Carter Finley Stadium as we set the stage for the second half with the Wolfpack leading the Hurricanes by three. ACC football is being brought to you by the new AT&T. By your local Toyota dealers. By Outback Steakhouse. By Wachovia. And by Chick-fil-A. Oh, the Wolfpack statue in front of the Murphy Fieldhouse on a much more benign day. Yesterday, temperature was about 68. We've lost 20 degrees to that right now. We haven't had much rain, but rain is forecast for late afternoon in the Raleigh area as NC State leads Miami 17 to 14 just moments ago. Our Mike Hogwood talk with Miami coach Randy Shan. Thank you, Steve. Randy, what'd you tell the guys in the locker room? What's the big thing they got to do in the second half? Well, basically, we got to come out on defensively and control the quarterback. I think we've been getting pressure on him and guys free, but we're not getting him on the ground. And he's been a vital part of what they're doing on offense. Uh, offensively, we got to convert. We've been moving the ball up the field, but now we got to get an end zone. Something. And you've been making some big plays, though, too. A lot of big plays today. we got to keep focused on trying to create big plays to get the crowd out of it even more and uh, just go down and just play football. All right. That's Randy Shannon, Steve. Thank you very much. ACC football is presented in high definition where available by MFS Investment Management, a diverse range of products, so advisors can choose what fits.
what fits is a great ball game as we see these two teams go at each other like as we said at the start of halftime two heavyweights both throwing punches both have something to fight for first half possessions for the Wolfpack they march right down the field after getting the ball on their own four or ten plays for a touchdown then the interception set up a Miami touchdown they had another touchdown on Robert uh, on Russell Wilson's 29 yard touchdown run and then a Josh Chikowski field goal uh, Miami in the first half Randy Shannon's group punted on three downs and out the first two possessions and then after the second Wolfpack touchdown on the first play from scrimmage Robert Barb went upstairs to his tight end Diedrich Epps for the score we are ready to go it's Bosher to kick off TJ Graham is back deep and this is going to be a short kick on purpose to keep Graham out of the equation. It's taken by Byers, Justin Byers. And he brings it out to the 35 yard line. It's a five yard gain after the kickoff was received. Our first half starts Russell Wilson. We have a flag down on the play as well. Wilson, 5 of 15 and a touchdown, but no interceptions. So his interception free streak goes to 218. Andre Brown, 10 rushes, 65 yards. And Owen Spencer has been shut out so far today. Kicking team number 20. The penalty will be added to the end of the run. Five yards. First down. So add five yards to the penalty, and that pushes NC State out to the 41 yard line. It's too much yard, too much yardage to give up. I know you're fearful. You don't want an explosive guy to get his hands on the ball. But uh, I don't think you also want to have the ball right here. No. About 30, what is that? 41 yard. 41 yard line. That's 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 tough. This is NC State's best starting field position of the afternoon. And they come out first and ten for our first offensive play. Browns in the backfield for him. Here's Russell Wilson. Has time again. This time scrambles up and is brought down by Alan Bailey, sophomore out of Sapelo, Georgia. Well, that's the one thing Coach Shannon told our own. Mike Hogwood that they were getting close but they need to get him down well to be quite honest with you they still had a ton of time that was a coverage sack the coverage is good and the linemen are holding their gaps they're just making sure they have to do that they'd probably be more aggressive but of course Russell Wilson can beat them with his elusiveness yeah good point loss of five second and 15 draw play goes to Brown he bounces off tacklers and gets out to the 42 look at him drag the pile to the 44 and now over the 46 <laughs> that's determination well there's nothing to save it for Steve if NC State doesn't win then they can turn in their gear this guy wants to continue to play they want to go bowling. it's a 10 yard game Brings up third down and a long six. That's incredible. That, that is really a is incredible. Very nice run by Andre Brown, who's uh, had a brilliant career here at NC State. This will be his last time on the Carter Finley turf. Wolfpack leading here by a field goal. Yeah, changed it just more of a 34 front now for Miami. Here comes the pass. It is complete to Williams. And Williams in Miami territory at the 41. Jarvis Williams with the catch. Bruce Johnson on the tackle. It's a gain of 14. Second half adjustment by Bill Young, defensive coordinator for Miami. They're going to try to add a, another body in the equation, pass, pass defense, standpoint, a linebacker rather than a down lineman. Get a little more speed. Yeah, somebody who can catch, catch Russell Wilson. <laughs> Eugene steps into the backfield now for the Wolfpack who are first and 10 at the Hurricane 41. And off Eugene. Eugene, good play fake by Wilson. Eugene ticks to the corner, gets the first down. Called out of bounds by Demarcus Van Dyke. But it's a gain of 15 by Jamel Eugene. That is a fine, as fine a run as I've seen all season long. He gets in to watch this. He gets the cuts, gets some shields. Nobody really made a block, but he just shields people out. And both Eugene and Brown are playing with enormous passion. I mean, these guys, it's got to be done, and it's got to be done right now. And that's how they're playing. First and 10 at the Miami 28. Gene's still in there. 
Robinson on the pass rush pass complete to Eugene in the flats and he's got some nice yardage inside the 10 to the eight yard line driven out of bounds by Anthony Reddick. It's a gain of 19 on the pass play. Yeah he got hit right on that arm. Nice move beats the backer comes inside. I mean we're talking about a clinic right now. That's the kind of proficiency that time he beat Sean Spence. Hurricanes got some pressure. But he beat Spence one on one. That was a great route, but he got hit right on the arm. First and goal at the eight yard line. Andre Brown replaces Eugene in the backfield. Jaron James is split wide to the left side. Russell Wilson looking that way. He's going for the end zone for Hill. And it is incomplete the coverage by Ryan Hill. Hill on Hill, big Hill. Smaller here, one's five eleven, one is six six. I think Anthony, you know, needs to go. Got to go up with two hands on that. Yeah, it does. Let's take a look at our red zone here for NC State. They are thirty-one of thirty-five, twenty-five or twenty-two touchdowns this season, and that's a look at our Alani Auto Parts red zone. Better prices, better parts every day. Jake Vermiglio's side on this one. Second and goal. Here's Brown. And he pushes the ball across the five down to the three. Gain of five on the play for Andre Brown. Glenn Cook makes the tackle for the Hurricanes. Yeah, and I love Robinson. He's 242, but when you're talking about 320, and Vermiglio, the left tackle for NC State, eventually size will win. Graham, Spencer, and Williams are the wide outs. Wilson on the quarterback draw. Tries to get outside, runs into Forts, Forston. Forston, the leading tackler there. Yeah, well, Miami just stayed big, too. See, they back into the big down lineman. And Marcus has played very, very well. He's a puppy, but at 322, you have to check his ID to check his age. Here's the red zone defense from Miami 36 possessions have allowed 27 touchdowns 34 of 36 and that's our O'Reilly Auto Parts red zone better parts better prices every day big stop for the hurricane. NC State three of three today in the red zone here comes the field goal attempt by Joukowsky it's a short one of 24 yards and he gets it through. So the Wolfpack score first time they have the ball. They wanted six. They'll settle for three. And they have a 20 to 14 lead over the Miami Hurricanes. Season finale in Raleigh. And the Wolfpack have a six point end. ACC football is brought to you in part by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota's keys are featured on RayComSports.com. Scoring drive for the Wolfpack. Resulting in a field goal. Nine plays, 57 yards. Russell Wilson orchestrated it, but he used Jamel Eugene in both the pass and the run on that particular drive for 15 yards and 22 yards, respectively. Bradley yeah. Pearson to kick it away. This is Cooper at the 13. Cooper with a burst of speed gets outside on the 30. DeAndre Morgan. And Taylor Gentry come in there for the tackle. 23 yards return. And here's a look at our Nissan Heisman in the ACC. Miami's got two former Heisman Trophy winners. 52nd Trophy winner of the prestigious award went to Vinny Testaverde in 1986. Testaverde threw for 6,058 career yards. The 58th winner went to Gino Toretta in 1992. 7,690 yards, 47 touchdown passes in his career. And here's Robert Marr. Could he be the next? Well, I don't know. Looks like he's going to have to share time all the way with Ja'Cory Harris for the next three years or four years. First and 10, Miami from the 36. Handoff to Cooper. Bounces outside and pushes the tackler, Jeremy Gray, ahead for about seven yards. First half stars for the Hurricanes. Robert Marr, five of six. The one pass, of course, for the touchdown with uh, Epps, as you can see there, three receptions, 76 yards, and Javaris James, their leading ground gainer. NC State's done a good job of shutting things down on the ground. They've allowed only 2.9 per rush 
or 248 yards total in the last three games. Second down and three. And this is Cooper. Pushed ahead. He's got the first down and he's out near midfield. And at the 48 yard line, a gain of five. First and ten. Nate Irving on the tackle. And Mike Hogwood with a story from the sidelines. Well, if you notice, people have put on their raincoats. I have from my field level suite, and it apparently has started to rain. Uh, by the way, Jamel Eugene injured shoulder. He is probable to re return kidding about the sweep. Hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's right. That, that Believe me. That defensive stance by Miami is so critical. They almost Aurora as he stayed head. They only gave got three points. Now both teams have to deal with the slippery football. Here's Javaris James over midfield. And Miami taking a conservative approach to this drive and so far working. A gain of about three. Maybe four. Robbie Leonard walk on the plate of Washington and Lee and then uh, wanted to go to Penn State but then decided instead to come to NC State and they're happy about him. 84 tackles on the season, four and a half for loss, and has recovered two fumbles. Second down and seven. James is the setback. Marv wants to throw. The throw downfield is complete. And that's going to be his tight end, Diedrich Epps. Another big catch, and J.C. Neal on the tackle. It's a 26-yard hookup for Miami. They made a living off of it. Pass protection has been real good. Cash, who's had a good rush, couldn't get there in time. And Epps has owned the middle of the field for Miami. Great release again, going against the great Nate Irving. And makes a big play. Big target at 6'4", 235, first and 10. It's a fourth catch by Epps. He has a touchdown already today. Ball at the 22 of NC State. Hand off James inside. And they're pushing the pile. They're controlling the line of scrimmage here a little bit. Jeremy Gray makes the tackle. Well, we talked about it. Eventually it comes down to the manhood issue. Figueroa, look at it, big boy there, 350, pounded up, going up against Antonio Holmes, Antoine Holmes, and Holmes is stout in there. Keith Willis Jr. has been playing good ball inside for NC State. Jones, Hankerson, and now Gordon stations himself on the left side. Cooper, the setback, he'll get the call. Working left, gets outside, good block by the receiver, headed to the end zone. He's there, touchdown. No, they're going to mark him down at the one. He slid into the end zone, a 17-yard gain, no score by Miami, but they're one yard out. That's why you can't trade field goals for touchdowns. Look at the left side of that offensive line. Jason Fox, the 306-pound junior, came off with great leverage, explosiveness, and the Canes are knocking on the door. First and goal from the one-yard line. Parkerson is in motion. Handoff James headed for the corner. No. Oh, oh maybe yes. the second effort gets oh, it in. Yes. Touchdown, Miami. Oh, and Nate Irvin right there at the point of attack. But you can't stop a man possessed. Javaris James, watch this. Great leg drive. See, he stopped. Nate Irvin, great job at the point of attack. He feels the blow, doesn't bring his hands, gets a hit, but doesn't lock up. Great run. James, touchdown, Miami. His second touchdown of the day, and here comes Matt Bosher for the kick after. And this will put the Miami Hurricanes ahead if he's successful. Out of the hold of Matt Pirelli. The kick is right down the middle. And the Hurricanes retake the lead. Javaris James. Cuts inside to the right after going left and falls ahead for the score. Miami leads the Wolfpack here on the final Saturday of the regular season, 21-20. Well, there we are, perched in our comfortable booth. Shop at SK Menswear for great deals this week, including 25 to 60 percent off select menswear. Visit SNKmenswear.com to shop online or find a location near you. In the meantime, there's Mike Hogwood and where he's sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's a nice look, Mike. 
<laughs> Trying to stay dry. Oh, yeah. All oh, those Bro, sneakers will get wet. Staying dry. That's the name of the game down here now. It's the longest drive to Greensboro you'll ever have. You're right. He's a pro. All right, Miami. Getting ready to kick it off after the touchdown that puts him ahead here, 21 20. Kick recovered and grounded there oh, by. Boy. Yep, that was. Uh, T.J. Graham put a knee to the ground and that gives the Wolfpack the football. We talked about Miami and their rushing yards and look at this play again. And there it is. Knee down, ball Good down. Call. Miami had 36 yards rushing first half. We see it again. There it is. They had 36 yards rushing in the first half. They had 38 on that drive alone. Well, Tom O'Brien's demeanor at halftime with Mike Hogwood, it was exactly the right way. Tom knew they have squandered opportunities. That's right. Long drive that they exhausted the clock on, had to settle for three. Hand off straight ahead. It looks like Brown, and there's not much there, maybe a yard. Dwayne Hendricks yeah, tightens up inside, the senior from Millville, New Jersey, and there's Glenn Cook. 69 tackles. Hendricks with 25 tackles. Steve, I look back to the big run that Wilson had before the half that was called back. That was a potential field goal opportunity. They never got a chance at. No, that's right. NC State has a new pending. Any sacks, they have a new rushing mark for the season, 190 yards on the ground. But any sack yardage will be subtracted from that. Second down to nine. Wilson stands in, fires, has a man, that's complete. It's Williams. Jarvis will. No, that's TJ Graham. TJ Graham with a completion of 44 yards. And if he hits him earlier, the band is playing. Boy, look at that pass protection. Splendid. See, he has to wait on the football. Then he had to secure it. If he hits him right there after the slip by Brandon Harris, it's touchdown. The Wolfpack strikes. Some 40 yards upfield, back to throw. Here's Wilson again, has a man open. This is, this is gonna be Spencer, touchdown! Got a flag. Flag this, down in the backfield. This could be contact to the head. Could very well be that. Anytime you see a linebacker by a quarterback, Allen Bailey. We take another look, Steve. They run inside, E.T. stunt, let's see. Yeah, that's roughing. Great job. The ball was tipped. Might have been by Ryan Hill or either Shane, uh, John Spence. Great concentration by Spencer, who had dropped two earlier touchdown catches. Yeah. And came back and had a nice day against North Carolina. And now Jeff Flanagan coming to explain the situation to Tom O'Brien. Can't see the play. I don't know. We've shown the play back in the pocket, but here's the call. And now, well, now actually, before we make the call, he's going to go over and talk to Randy Shannon about things. So they're talking over there. We are trying to find. And I don't think we're going to be successful. Foul, 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 personal foul, Rosie Lepasser, number 15, 57, on the defense. That penalty is being elected to be assessed on the kickoff after the play when scores were like on North Carolina State. That penalty is also being elected to take to the kickoff. Those fouls will cancel, and the distance will offset. We'll continue with the try. So all we lose on this is time. Yeah, that's it. Throw. There's the, the hit. Tip. Spence with the tip. Good concentration by Spencer. Wolfpack right back at it. And celebration. On sportsmanlike contact, they say maybe a little bit long on this celebration. You know, and, well, and if that's mean, the case, no. No, but well, you don't want to. I mean, how could you show enthusiasm? You you're trying to go to a bowl game? I mean, come on. Gotta use judgment on these. It's still fun. It's football. It's a game. 
It's designed to be to have some fun enthusiasm. We'll pack going for the two point conversion. Goodness. They're five ahead right now, 26-21. The two points will give them a seven-point lead. Blitz off the corner by Sharpton. Pass complete for the touchdown for the two-point. Well, Eugene, Jamil, Eugene is healthy. Yep, he caught the ball. And the Wolfpack scores six and two. And lead it by seven just like that. The protection has just been incredible. Really, both sides have protected well. The secondaries have been the difference maker. And this man, Jamel Eugene, has been a playmaker for the Wolfpack. After Owen Spencer's touchdown of 32 yards, then, of course, the two point conversion to Jamel Eugene. And the Wolfpack now up 28 21 in a wild one here in Rawlins. Here's the touchdown again. Sees him all the way. There's that tip. That was tipped by Spence. What great concentration oh, by yeah. Spencer for the touchdown. Let's look for the sportsman on sportsman like Honda. The pose. Yep, there it is. And the teammates. Then another surge of players, and the flag is in. The field judge says this is a little much. And you could be good grounds for warning. Could be grounds for warning. But you know, listen, it's tough to call these games. You got to control everything. They've done a splendid job of maintaining integrity within the game. So there's not a lot of foolishness, and that we have to give the officiating crews a ton of credit for. 76 yards in a minute and six, three plays. Two big pass plays. One to T.J. Graham and then the touchdown throw to Owen Spencer. The second of the day for Russell Wilson. Cooper has it. Cooper gets a nice block. He's in open field. We got a flag. Cooper on the run. DeAndre Morgan is going to take him out of bounds inside the nine. But we have a flag back at the Miami 38 yard line. That could bring this back. My, my, my. One thing you better believe that Morgan can run. Because he went up and caught up with Cooper. Cooper is a prime time player. He's been attempting to do this all day. It's against Miami, block in the back. It negates an 84 yard kickoff return. And it was thrown right at the infraction. Yeah, it's right there. Now, is the helmet on the inside is what you like? You know, and that's, you know, you, you got to do this by the rules. You can't cheat. Arthur Brown may have committed the foul. Need another angle on that. Um, a lot of guys do this behind the ball, which just drives me nuts. This is at the point of attack. But yeah, the helmet was on the back side of the show. It can't be. Helmet's got to be on the front side. That would have been a good position to just shield. Throw your hands up. First and ten instead for Miami at their own 25 instead of seeing their band play after a touchdown run of 84. And now Robbie Leonard takes down Javaris James for a loss of three to the 22 yard line. Big play. And I do mean big play. When you get one on one with James, you're in a terrible position. But Robbie Leonard makes another big play. Epps and Collier are in the ball game now. Epps is a dangerous receiver. Back to throw. Robert Marr. Pass is complete. Or is it? Let's see. That's going to be Khalil Jones. This is going to be interesting. Yeah, right now he's being marked as possession. Yeah, at the 31. It's an eight yard game. You know, we haven't had a replay today. Haven't had a replay today. And the ACC has probably had more replays than any of the major conferences about this year. To get four in a row. Because you went ahead to say that, didn't you? Yeah. We're going to get four in a row now. <laughs> well, we're not going to get one here. Third down and four for Miami. Trailing NC State 28 21. 
Here's Willie Young. Here comes James. James has the first down and more as he cruises out to the 44 yard line. Boy, that's a big block by Zellner. Tight end for Miami. Whenever it's third and crucial, I look for where's Willie Young? Willie Young, bottom of the screen. And that time, great turnout block by Chris Zellner. 250 pounder. You better identify where Willie Young is and get him down. Miami's physical. You know, this, this young group, they are physical. First and ten at the 44. Back to throw. Here's Marv to the flats to his fullback. That's Patrick Hill, junior from Torrance, California. That's a loss of two on the play. Robbie Leonard makes yet another tackle. He's had a big day for the Wolfpack defense. Tell you what, man, they are rumbling there. There are some great individual matchups going on. And the weather's conducive for your stamina. So you're going to get guys, they're going to lay it all on the line. The remainder of this ball game. Second down and 12. 3 11 left to go in his third quarter. Here comes a handoff to James. He slips on the turf. Michael, Alan Michael Cash will probably get credit for the tackle. He ran right over Xavier Shannon. Another loss on the play. Brings up third down. There's some rumbles. You watch the point of attack. And that time you called it Mike. Alan Michael Cash was a beast right in the middle of the field. You have got to minimize the penetration by no tackle. That time he was the dominant force. Collier, James, Bird in the backfield. Marv to throw. Cash. Willie Young in pursuit. Marcus Kuhn on the other side. Will he let it go? Yes. Picked off. Jamal Simmons with the ball on the interception. Brought back in the hurricane territory at the 48 yard line. Big play. Big play for Mike Archer's group. He had the feeling Marv rolled it to his left. He's a terrific athlete, but could he square the shoulders up? Could he turn, find the vision? Boy, Willie Young in pursuit. Now watch this. Can you set up? That's a very difficult throw. Not bad, but it hangs in the air. Any secondary worth their salt, if you hang it up in there, they're going to make it their ball. Big time play for Simmons. Jamal Simmons, second interception of the season. He takes it back 32 yards in the Wolfpack setup shop at the Miami 44. Wilson to throw. Comes out of there and not much of a game. Well, he took one on the head there. See, that's sure the position. Might have from his own player. Loss of a yard on the play. Joe Joseph on the tackle to the sidelines. We go to Mike Hawkwood. Steve, you'll remember our conversation with Mike Archer. He was talking about one of the things that they have not been able to do is stop other teams on third down. And they get the uh, interception that time. But the, the situation was you look at Florida State, you look at that drive by Boston College into that game. Third and long, they haven't been able to stop teams. Today, Mike, they're three of eight defensively holding Miami on third down. Wilson. Runs away from the would-be tackler, regains his balance, and now it's going to be forced out of bounds. <laughs> Stephen Wesley was chasing him, but also chasing him out there. Oh, Jomo. Yeah, Jomo. Yeah, Ojomo came in, and uh, Ojomo, great rush. He got the inside. He got his hands right where he wanted to have it. Vermiglio got beat that time on technique, and then chase. But once again, Houdini. Gets out of it <laughs> and finds himself alive. Third down, however, for the Wolf Pack and eight. They are five of nine on third down this afternoon. James split to the short side of the field. Davis is the slot. Jay Smith wide out to the bottom or wide side of the field. And now we've got a stoppage of play here. And they want to reset the clock. Scores around the ACC. Oh, what a Donnie Brook going on in Blacksburg. They're tied. And now tied at Athens. Georgia Tech has come from behind. Clemson thumping South Carolina. Kansas with a lead on 20th ranked Missouri. Cincinnati posting. 
Over Syracuse Appalachian State now up by three over South Carolina State in the FCS playoff. Wilson to throw has time as a man covered whoever going for James he put that right on the money. Yeah he did. Good defensive play. Somebody lost a sneaker in the process. From our vantage point, it looked like he put that right on James, right on his hand. Let's see. He comes out of the break, locates the ball. Let's see. No, that's great defense. That is. That that's is Bruce superb. Johnson. I'm telling you, we can take some of these cut out cuts in this game and put them together, and coaches could take them around as a clinic reel. Bruce Johnson that way. Locating the ball is key. Secondary guys come out, they find the ball, and make a play. Chavez Grant is back to take the punt. As Bradley Pearson will try to plant this one inside the 20. Grant getting away from it, and it's going to take a Wolfpack bounce out of bounds at the two. Hard to beat that. Nope. It's hard to beat that, but it's also hard to beat change of, of, of play. Miami throws an interception. NC State comes back. They can't get nothing out of it. Great stand for Miami. Watch it roll out of bounds. It's 28 21 NC State back after this word from your local station. Well, we're back at Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh. 51 seconds left to go in his third quarter. NC State desperately clawing for a win. They lead here 28 21. They win their bowl eligible and will have won their fourth straight game. For Miami, they're already in a bowl situation. They can better it, or they can also, and plus, they can also join. The gaggle of teams right now that include two that are at five and three. And that's going to be the best league record of anybody. Robert Marv operating from his own two after the 42 yard punt by Bradley Pearson. Hand off James busts through. Nice run out to the 13. And just when you think you got Miami cornered. There is James coming off with an 11 yard run. Yeah, you know, you can have all the speed and skill in the world, but you have to have the ability to come off the ball with a fullback and get hard yards. That's exactly what Cooper and James give Miami. And that offensive line is not like lines they've had in the past. This group can move forward with authority. First and 10 from the 13. Hand off. Goes to James again. This time goes left side, and he gets out to the 18. Gain of five. Makes up second and five. Antonio Holmes, senior out of Williamsburg, Virginia, with the tackle. A lot of seniors here playing their last game. Keith Willis. Robbie Leonard. And that's the end of the third quarter of play, but don't go away. The rain falling lightly here in Raleigh, but. It's senior day. Anything could happen. The fans hanging around to see if the Wolfpack can pull off their fourth straight win and become bowl eligible. Fourth quarter is next. Today's game is brought to you in part by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. We welcome you back to Carter Finley Stadium in Raleigh, North Carolina, where the Wolfpack of NC State lead the Hurricanes of Miami 28-21. We're starting the fourth quarter here. Miami with the ball at their own 18 yard line. They started this drive from their two. Zellner in motion. Handoff James hits the corner and then gets wrapped up. And making the tackle there is uh, Jeff Rieskamp. It's a three to four yard gain. Our stats are three quarters. Presented by the new ATT. You see the Wolfpack with the rushing yards about even in the passing situation. Two turnovers for Miami, but they've only given up three points. Whereas the Wolfpack have gained or given up seven. Get behind the scenes look at some of your favorite teams and players at attbluehome.com slash sports. Third down and two for the Hurricanes. Trailing by seven. James won't get it. Rule down forward pro well wait a minute yeah forward progress he's going to get out to the 22 yard uh, 21 yard line maybe the 22 he needed the 23 the punting unit is on what a thing of beauty going forward pounding 
mano a mano. And you see Nate Irvin, 56, standing up strong in there, making a play down at the bottom of that pile. That was uh, Michelle, Ray Michelle inside. I mean, just gutting it out. Bosher's kick. He's going to roll dead and then takes an NC State bounce to the 40 yard line. A lot of pressure, a 38 yard punt, his shortest of the day. And the Wolfpack will have the ball in fairly good field position. At the 40. First and 10 Wolfpack. They lead 28 21. They hold on, they're bowl eligible. Today's game is brought to you by Altel, the official wireless partners of fans. And the fans are hanging in this on this Thanksgiving holiday weekend. There's been plenty of great football that's been played around the country, and we're glad to offer up this game as one of the good ones. I'll put this up against any game played today in terms of how physical it's been. First and ten, Wolfpack. Wilson, play action, throws, open receiver. It's going to be to Spencer, and Spencer comes down with a grab for the first down at the 33-yard line. Well, a few times all day, I can say, not only did they have Spencer open, they had Daryl Davis running down the field. They moved the pocket over with the fake and got a jailbreak. They sure did. Spencer with his second grab of the day. It's a 27-yard reception. Yeah, I love that. I love that view right on the field. Good camera work. Call it the Hogwood view. That's the Hogwood view, huh? No, that'd be from his truck. <laughs> First and ten. Oh, he's sweet. <laughs> God, Eugene having trouble turning the corner, thanks to the pursuit by Miami's Daryl Sharpton. Joined out there also by Spencer Atkins. It's a loss of three on the play. Sharpton has played well. We talked about Robbie Leonard for NC State, but Sharpton's had a strong day today. Yeah, yeah no, he's legit. He's legit. He's from Coral Gables, Florida. He's a junior. Started the day with 53 tackles on the year, five and a half for loss, and that's a full one for a loss there. You know, one of those guys here, he's playing linebacker, was a terrific kickoff return guy, you know, was a specialist in high school, so they get great athletes to go over and play defense. Out of the shotgun, Wilson with a pump fake and a pass to Eugene in the flats. Changes direction, gets inside the 25, and again, Sharpton brings him down at the 23. It's a gain of 12 on the play, and it's going to be close to the first down. And it may move the chains. And it appears that NC State is back in that rhythm, that rhythm they had in the first half. But, you know, one thing about Jamel Eugene, other than Wilson, might be the best player on the field today in red because he's just making plays. Well, you know, the Wilson, Wilson does a great job in play action, and they've had two good play action plays. Fakes mm -hmm. want a handoff, fake handoff into the line. Yeah. That little pass. I don't even know fake. what the ball is, right? I'm, I'm watching with binoculars just to make sure I know who the ball is. Williams split wide to the top side. Great and now we have a fake. stoppage and a timeout coming here for NC State to talk things over. They're on third and one. They did not get the first down. Third and one at the 24 yard line of Miami. And you got a feeling they don't want to settle for three here and a long field goal. No, they don't want to settle. But for Miami, they can't afford to give up anything more than three. Now, bowl hunting, of course, uh, eight ACC teams, seven ACC teams are bowl eligible. NC State with a win here would become number eight. Clemson, if they beat South Carolina and they were leading in last look, and Virginia tied with Virginia Tech, could also be bowl eligible. The only ACC team that can't right now is Duke. And they're playing for pride this afternoon, taking on North Carolina. Of course, the Virginia Virginia Tech game has heavier implications because if Virginia Tech wins, they go to Tampa. If Virginia wins, then Georgia Tech goes to Tampa. Yeah. You, you want to be where the Hokies are. And the Hokies are up three right yeah. now, so they determine their own control destiny. Control your own destiny, yeah. That's right. Well, Virginia Tech does, and so does Boston College. Yep. Went out at home, all questions answered. You get a rematch of last year's championship game. And you just got to think that. The Yellow Jackets have got to be just gritting their teeth together because they oh, lost. Yeah. More that, that game they lost in Blacksburg, and they've had some tight loss. When they do lose, lose it's tight. Well, they lost a tight one at home against Virginia. Yep. Eugene, the lone setback on third and one. Hand off to Eugene, and he's got it. First down, move the change for the Wolfpack. They're at the Miami 22. 
Gain of two on the play for Jamel Eugene. What a surge by that offensive line. Johnny Majors, former volunteer coach, said, you know, low man wins, and it's never, ever been disputed. I don't care how big you are, you got to get down there, man, and grind it out. Larson, Green, and watch this. Now, look at this from the snap. Pad placement is low. You can hear it. Boy, that's rumbling up front. It just sounds like football. First and ten. Wilson on a keeper, hits the corner, and gets down to the 15-yard line. A six-yard gain, and this is the second consecutive week, Doc, that NC State has over 400 yards total offense. Well, our camera guys are really good, because I can tell you what, I was with the fake on that one. I don't know about you, but I was with the fake. They, both teams have done a really good job with that. Here's NC State at home in the red zone, Doc. 22 of 24 and 17 have been touchdowns. Our O'Reilly Auto Parts red zone, Better parts, better prices every day. Second down and four. Eugene and oh, Alan Bailey said, no, don't you even think a change in direction. Loss of two on the play. Well, the Miami Hurricanes learned their lesson against the Yellow Jackets. This is responsibility football here. See, they don't give it up. That's an outstanding job of playing linebacker on the outside. Marcus Robinson. Well, I guarantee you, Coach Young will be happy. You'll grade high on that one, son, because he did exactly what he was supposed to do. He didn't give up the outside shoulder. Big play. Well, NC State facing third down. They're 6 of 11 on third downs this afternoon. The last four games, 28 of 58, or 48 percent. That's why their offense has operated so well. They're up by seven. Wilson, and he gets hit in the backfield by Spencer Atkins the senior from Naples Florida makes the sack and the coverage once again for Miami is superb there was nowhere to go when he wanted to go and you don't have much time hurricanes chasing them down 26 sack that the Wolfpack have allowed this season in the third sack of the day and it brings along a loss of six Chikowski back out to kick for potentially his third field goal of the day. This will be a 42 yarder and it will be a career long one if he gets it successfully out of Pearson's hole. Here it comes. Looks on the money. He's got it. John Chikowski with a career high 42 yarder. Give Pearson an assist. Great hands on the snap. The snap was high. The Wolfpack pushed their lead to 10 with 8.57 left to go on the fourth. Last team to score wins. Well, the Wolfpack have added two scores since Miami went ahead 21 20. Spencer on a 32 two yard run, and Chukowski with a season and career high 42 yard field goal. Wolfpack lead is 10. Update on the Russell Wilson. Mark uh, passes without an interception. He's up to 226. That's second longest in NCAA football this year. Drew Willie of Buffalo through 284. Kick falls live. They better get going. They better get going. And uh, the Hurricanes get down on it. Ryan Hill makes the stop. Our Chick-fil-A nugget of the game, Miami has played for a national championship ten times in postseason ball games. They've won five, 1983 to 2001, their most recent. Larry Coker was head coach then. Randy Shannon has succeeded him, and I don't think there are very many people who would not say at this point in time that the program's in pretty good hands with Randy Shannon. Well, if they know anything about football, DeCorey Harris is back at quarterback. First and ten from the Miami 28. Harris steps up, fires complete. It's going to be Collier pulling it down. It's going to be shy of the first down, a gain of seven. Nate Irving makes the tackle. Yeah, NC State probably willing to give you some underneath things now. What they can ill afford to do is give up a strike in one play. Right. They got to take the long ball out of the equation. But it's happened to them. So. Yeah. They've got to have that in the back of their mind. Our first and ten line brought to you by SeatExchange.com, official ticket exchange partner of the ACC. 
Second down and three. Harris stands in there. Kuhn brings him down. Marcus Kuhn. The native of Germany. Oh, Kuhn, you know, he's been close. He's been close several times in this ball game. Just kept going. He just kept coming. And it paid off. Loss of 10 on the play on the sack. It's now third down and 13. You watch it, Willie Young on that left side. Goon beats right at the point of attack, beats his man, Orlando Franklin, inside and just walked the dog all the way to the quarterback. Miami, three of nine on third down. They trail by 10. They need one here. And now Ja'Cory Harris will call a timeout. And Miami takes a pause here. It's going to be their first call timeout. Both teams have two remaining. We'll take it with them. 7.35 left to play on this Thanksgiving weekend Saturday. The Wolfpack lead the Hurricanes by 10. Third down, 13 for Miami, trailing by 10. The last thing they want to do is let the Wolfpack have the ball. Harris steps up, fires complete. Oh, and it's a first down. Big play. Big play, and Jason Fox on the backside at left tackle blocking Willie Young. Jason won that battle, and the Hurricanes show some guts. 17 yards on the pass to Theron Collier. Starts up front. Your biggins got to beat their biggins, and your skill guys make plays. Where's the playmaker? Well, there he is, front and center. First and 10. Miami still in business. The lay handoff comes to Cooper. He picks his way to the 45 yard line. Gain of four. Robbie Leonard in on a ton of tackles today, gets one more. And Miami now has to play at a faster pace here. They're two scores back. 6.55, they have two timeouts remaining. And they've got to get one of the, one of the wide outs now to make some noise. Harris to throw goes top side. It is complete. And that is LaRon Bird. Bird gets the first down at the Wolfpack 43. Jeremy Gray on the tackle. That was Bird who got the game time touchdown in Virginia. And it was smart too. This time you see the run comes out. Nice route. Catch, get security, picks up some yards. It's out of bounds. Clock still rolling, six and a half to play. But Miami making good work of getting downfield here. And off comes to Cooper tries to turn the corner and not allowed to that time J.C. Neal forces him to run out of real estate. It's a three yard game. Yeah it is three. You got to give NC State the credit on they earned this. They kept stringing it out stringing it out. Looks like Holmes in there. 96 <laughs> big boy getting up field. They did a good job on that. Also credit Irving for getting up yeah. there. There's Holmes. He's a senior out of Williamsburg, Virginia, playing his last game at Carter Finley Stadium this afternoon. Second down and eight. Miami at the men. NC State 41. Jacory Harris out of the shotgun with pressure. Throws to Collier again. And he's complete down to the 30 yard line. They move the chains once more time with an 11 yard gain. Yeah, great call. Archer with the blitz. The defense for the Wolfpack in there. A pass defense. Nate Irving inside. Here comes James. He's tackled by Robbie Leonard, who's been everywhere today. They have bottled up Miami's ground game this afternoon. They rushed for 101 yards total. Harris to throw on first and ten. Ball batted back to him. That might have been Kuhn again. It could have been. Or my okay. Michael okay. Cash. Both have played exceptionally well. Play. Kuhn is playing in place of Shane McCain, the team, who's out with an injury. AC Cash, good defensive line, but gets his hands up, watched the quarterback the entire way. They got some penetration as well. Boy, that's a good job. This is the ninth play of the drive. Started back at the 25 yard line. They've gone about three minutes on. Harris to throw. It is incomplete. Almost picked up. Nearly picked up. That would have been. This Epsu's had a well of a game. 
for Miami. Four catches on what? And one. Oh, Willie Young. Willie Young is coming on the backside. That time, great oh. pressure by Keith Willis Jr. Boy, that D line took off. Five and a half to play. The incompletion stops the clock. Third down and ten. Miami four of ten on third down. This is the big boy down here. Clogger has been his favorite third down receiver. Harris throws intercepted Nate Irving. Nate Irving on his way with only Harris to beat, and he goes down at the 32-yard line. It's the third interception for the Wolfpack today and the fourth of the season for Nate Irving. Well, I said it was big boy down. So if you're a big boy, you fall in on this one. Nate Irving's got it. Watch the eyes. They don't lie. He watched it all the way. Went up, picked it up, and now he's starting to skate. Look at Willie Young trying to get up, catch up to help his boy out. Big play for the Wolfpack. Harris on the tackle, but not before the Wolfpack moves it down to the Miami 32-yard line. There may be no bigger play in this game than that one. Well, if they can put some more points on the board here, they can seal the deal and go bowling. And become the eighth ACC team to be bowl eligible. Others could follow. Hand off Andre Brown. Brown drops the football, but picks it back up. And actually gains. <laughs> he, he may have the first down. He oh gained boy. 10. Sometimes you just can't do no wrong. Ponder was close to the tackle and stripped the ball out. And let's watch this again. Yeah, he's going to, to change hands. It just yeah. kind of got away from him. Well, Ponder see. touched him. It didn't look like he got after the ball. This is close enough for a measurement for the Wolfpack. It stops the clock. Which is in favor of Miami with 515 left to go and it is a first down for NC State. They are in field goal range at the 21. And to the sidelines we go to Mike Hogwood. Uh, Steve that was a huge turnover this year. They have turned the ball over 16 times and forced 24 turnovers last year. That was way in the opposite direction. Uh, this team is moving ahead in that category and it's shown in the last couple of weeks. They forced six turnovers a week ago. Well they're plus 10 on the season now as the two turnover edge on Miami. They've uh, taken three away by way of interception. And are playing as well as anyone in the entire conference. Well, Mike Archer and the coaching staff challenged them. Here's Brown on the cutback. And Brown has got to watch ball security here as he gets it inside the 20 to the 19. And Virginia Tech is headed to Tampa. They have beaten Virginia 17 to 14. So the Coastal Division representative in the ACC championship game has been decided. The Atlantic Division is between Boston College and Florida State. Florida State playing out of conference today. Boston College playing later this afternoon against the Maryland Terrapins at home. And if they win, they'll go to Tampa to join Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Frank Beamer's Hokies from Virginia Tech for beating Virginia today. It's their fifth straight win over the Cavaliers. See, you can be young and still be good if your defense leads you. And that's what Virginia Tech has. Here's Brown again. Trying to turn the corner and does squares his shoulder inside the 10 to the 8. Furthering an NC State ground game that has pushed its way over the 200 yard mark today with 10 more yards here. Physical, watch it, ground level. Hand to hand combat on this one. Big boys up front, Bednick and Larson on the left side. There you see him throwing his hands up, say, No, I'm not doing anything wrong, Mr. Official. Carlos Armour on the tackle for Randy Shannon's Hurricanes who are now looking at the deep end of the pool here. First and goal from the eight yard line now for NC State with an assurance score coming. Provided they don't turn the football over. Here is Brown. Gets up in the middle. Gets to the five. And down to the four yard line. We watched Miami strip the ball against Pyramid, an excellent runner for UVA. They will snatch the ball out. You better be conscious of it. And now it's just, it's turned into a, now it's a back alley brawl now. I mean, they see everybody just swinging and going after it. I mean, this is football. Spencer Atkins on the tackle. 
And it's going to be second down and goal. The ball at the five. Each team with two timeouts left. 2.52 left to go in his fourth quarter. NC State looking for their fourth straight win. A score here would nail that down. Wilson hands off Brown. Headed left. Carries a tackle into the end zone. Touchdown, Andre Brown. This is just vicious. That's all I can say. Vicious. At the point of attack, you see, that's just determination again. Brown, what a tribute to his, his commitment to, to train to get through all the tough ankle injuries. I'll tell you what, Bennix again with another big time block. Huge block by Bennix. Second touchdown of the day for Andre Brown. Here's the kick point after by Tchaikovsky, and it is good. And the Wolf Pack are packing their bags for somewhere. We don't know. But they've got a three score lead here. You can have all the team meetings you want to have, but you better come out and play. And that's exactly what the Wolf Pack have done. They talked to talk, and now they have walked the wall. Brown nearing the century mark. 12 carries, 93 yards. They were three minutes off the clock. Look at this ground level. Body on body, oh. pad on pad. Bennix again with the big time block. And you got a determined man in the end zone. And then Russell Wilson says it all. Wilson engineers the drive. Brown does the dirty work of taking it across behind an NC State line that has been rebuilt. It's been rebuilt using some tools from the defense. Well, you, whenever you get a former defensive lineman on your offense, you got a better player because you got an honorary guy over there who if he can control his anger, that's what you want. You don't want nobody passive on your offensive line. You want guys, man, who start fights, not guys who have to break them up. Now, Larson and Bedix were both defensive linemen at NC State last year. There's been an education process for them, as well as the youth of others. And it's all come together at the right time in the last four games for the Wolfpack. And they are two minutes and 35 seconds from bowl eligibility and their fourth straight win. I'll tell you what, you're going to take the last shots at these baby canes. <laughs> Next year, look out. Hey, bull opponent, look out. Look out. <laughs> look out, because it is there. You're talking about freshmen and sophomores for the most part. And they've been and they've been wrestling all the way through, beating them at the end if you get them. Buddy, it's going to be nasty next season. Yes, it is. Getting ready for the kickoff from Bradley Pearson. He'll squib it short. Miami's got some pretty good yardage on kickoff returns, and Ryan Hill will fall on this one at the 29 yard line. The chore is pretty long for Miami now. 2.35 left to go with only two timeouts. Look at Georgia Tech. The number one goal for the Yellow Jackets was to beat Georgia, and they're on the verge of doing it. Clemson winning big over South Carolina. Virginia Tech is already in the Coastal Division Championship suite, and they are headed to Tampa. Kansas and Missouri having a wild one. Cincinnati with a big win in the Big East today. App State leading South Carolina State by 10 on the fourth at Boone in the Football Championship Series subdivision. Another team, Georgia Tech. Be frightening next season. They sure will. Back to throw. Jacory Harris runs out of the pocket and is headed to the sidelines. He tries to get the first down and does. That'll stop the clock with Harris at the 43 yard line. Deceptive speed. Yeah, he does. Strider, but he's moving. 14 yard gain. 38 21 NC State with the lead. The clock moving again once the ball is set. Boy, Miami just became quarterback rich. Well, they are, but they've thrown three interceptions thus far this afternoon. Nice block by Cooper to allow Harris to get to the corner. Now he is looking for out of bounds. Somebody got to save the kid over there. Somebody grab him. Show some class. Harris goes into the NC State bench. Gain of about six. You got to protect kids. You, you know, you beat them on the scoreboard. You don't let a guy run into that medical equipment. Yeah. No, it's true. Second down and four now for the Hurricanes. A yard shy of midfield. But they're down 17 to a Wolfpack team that has played marvelously this afternoon. 
more of the same for NC State over the last four weeks of the season. Pass is complete. And that is going to be out there to Khalil Jones, the senior from Miami. An 11 yard gain pushes the chains ahead, stops the clock with a minute 50 left to go. Miami with the potential of a loss today drops to seven and five. The Wolfpack of NC State with the potential of a win, six and six. Harris to throw. Has time, pass complete underneath. And it's going to be to Chris Zellner. Seven yard gain. There's Randy Chen. He's done a great job with this program. He's got it going. People are talking about the U again, and they've shown aspects of their game. He was talking during our conference call on Wednesday about, you know, earlier teams that he has had or he's been a part of mm -hmm. and saw them struggle with some pretty big talent. And then all of a sudden, guys like Reggie Wayne, Santana Moss, Bubba Franks, they won a championship, but they struggled like these guys have struggled. They were young. Pass is complete now to James at the 25. Nine yard gain. They are three scores back. 17 points, 18 to win. And they don't have much time to do it. A minute six left to go. But they've accomplished a lot in this season. The Wolfpack started slow, absorbed so many injuries that at one point, 13 starters were out of the ballgame. Not all at once, but 13 starters have gone, and they lost two today. Harris, the throw. And got hit as he went forward. Willie Young puts a hit on him. Well, that was a time we were here, and Willie Young was here basically by himself. Yeah. There's uh, Tom O'Brien. Works the sidelines without headsets here. Job is just about done. And his team's going to keep on practicing into December. That's the key, boy. You get to get those red shirts out there and put them on those sleds a couple more weeks. Yep. Harris looking for the end zone, and it is. He got it. Yeah, he got it. LaRon Bird catches it in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. Great throw. You talk about under duress. And boy, Tom O'Brien is not happy. 25 yard pass reception for the touchdown. LaRon Bird out of Boutique, Louisiana, the true freshman. Willie, I mean, Willis is right in the quarterback's face. When you say at 47, I think about Michael Irvin. That's another Miami guy. Well, you know, if you wear that, then you better have some game. Well, he and does. Bird does. He's got game. Wash your on for the point after. 38 27. About to become a 10 point game here again. Right down the middle for Matt Bosher. Uh, that makes it 38 28. Let's see Laurent Bird's catch yeah, one more time. I think time. the pump helps a little bit. Yeah, a little gesture to the pump. And then Willis gets it right at the end. And you think Ooh. that's going to be picked, and he just stayed with it. Justin Byers covering on the play, but just didn't get there in time. And boy, look at Tom O'Brien. Yeah. Well, that's why it's good, too. Because he knew that. He thought that was a gimme. Yeah. You know, and he's a good, I mean, he's a coach. They never back off, but that I thought was picked off. But it wasn't. Clemson has won. They are bowl eligible. 31 14. A team that had high expectations, and they just might uh, get some of those expectations met. With a good run to a ball game. Well, and you know what? Congratulations, Dabo Sweeney. Yeah, Dabo did a great job, but those kids made up their mind to get it done and yep. they blocked. You know, it wasn't that complicated. They got physical. There you go. Yeah. And uh, they played up to the level of expectations after a while, but it took them a while and they squandered a lot of uh, well, a lot of good uh, goodwill and talent well, on they that held, team they in the held, early part of the season. They held ta talent hostage. Yeah. You know, and uh, they has been there. They kept talk, talking about how young they were. Every, the whole league was young in spots. Look at Tech. And of course, uh, Tech. this is the, the time of the year we don't like because we have to give the roll call for the final time. Our producers, David Berenger. TV. And Beverly Rumley, Roy Alfers, and Lonnie Dale in the seat of the director's chair today. <laughs> Vince Hutcherson did a pretty good job on karaoke. Julie James. Oh, excellent. How about Hallwood? Warner Maney. Of course, Pat Arati, who keeps track of all of us. I don't know how she does it. it These are our folks in videotape. Our audio engineers. Eddie who keeps me from getting a shock from all the equipment. And then our camera people are. Eddie's back. And of course, Mr. Richardson is our Rooster Award winner this year. Yeah, congratulations. 
Fast, good party right? last night too. It was. We had a nice breakup party. We, just get you we get all get stayed you. together. Keep the clothes on, Dave. <laughs> it was hot. The onside kick looks like it's going to be recovered by Miami as it goes to the prerequisite 10 yards. They're still trying here with 48.2 seconds left to go. They still need two scores. And Chavez Grant recovers the ball. Wolfpack defense going to have to come back out here. And of course, many thanks to our folks here in the, in the booth. Greg Murray, our stage manager, Bob Carney, our spotter and statistician excellence, Freddie Kiger. Here's the onside kick. And Miami. Yeah, they're making plays. Yeah, I'll tell you what. They're trying to get this done. They only have 42 seconds. They have two timeouts left. To Corey Harris. Throws it away. He's going down in the grass. Question is, is he still in the pocket? Well, you hope the kid, I heard Willie Young said, okay, enough is enough. Must have maybe hurt his hand. And Harris goes down. Jeff Lanigan says no. To Willie Young. Nice little, what a good dip. And see, you, you, you like to have your quarterback jump up in the pocket. Look at him hold his right shoulder. Yeah. It's a lot of power there. He goes down on him. And Willie Harris Young. will come to the sideline. This is where I, I, I like the two quarterback system. Yeah. Your team doesn't have to drop off. No. Because you lose one. Because Marv is pretty good. But we might have seen the last of Ja'Cory Harris today. But Marv's not warm. But he's been in the game before. Stands back. Blitz is on. And he'll throw it complete to Greg Cooper. And Cooper took a five yard shy of midfield. Yeah, Cooper needs to get out of bounds. Yeah, he can't though. Clock's still running. Miami may have to call a timeout to stop it. Now they do. With 23.6 seconds left to go. It's a four yard gain on the hookup. There's Ja'Cory Harris. Yeah, you hope it's not a collarbone or anything that'll take him out of this bowl picture. And there's the folks we talked about. Up here in the booth and everywhere. It takes a lot of people to put these games together. And we've enjoyed bringing it to you. Well, every you, single week. You've got your own makeup person. I do. You've got three people just assigned to you. Well, I got a half acre of uh, forehead to cover, so kind of need a little bit of coverage there. 23.6 seconds left. Here. You know, I'm staying on task here because <laughs> if Miami scores one on this play, recovers another onside kick, you're right. Then they may be back in business. But with 23 point seconds left to go, that would have to be one of the most improbable finishes in college football ever to be seen. But hey, why not? We got to get Hogwood back on the field. That's right. What do you think he is right now? Back is in Charlotte by now? <laughs> <laughs> And we just like him to overshoot his home at Greensboro. <laughs> All right, here we go. Third down coming from Miami and six. They're at their own 45 yard line. They're down by 10. They have one timeout remaining. Robert Marv in place of Ja'Cory Harris, who went out with a shoulder problem. Marv back to throw, steps up. Fires long, has a man down there, knocked away. Oh, got it, interception. The tip, I think the tip was picked. And that could be Jeremy Grant yep. coming up with it. That's only fitting. Yep, Jeremy Grant gets it. Jamal Simmons, tip yep, of the tip, ball. Another tip pick. And that's two today. Four interceptions on the afternoon, but two tip picks. And Gray picks it off. Byers may have tapped it. And the Wolfpack now will come out here, take a knee, and head to a bowl game. Daniel Evans comes out in his final game in Carter Finley Stadium. Timeout called by the Wolfpack. Special moment for Daniel. He fell out of the mix in the quarterback situation. He's from Raleigh. His father, of course, Johnny Evans, a broadcaster for NC State, and of course, uh, an outstanding football player in his own right. Yeah, and Evans will come to the sideline. Bigger coach. This is this is important. The kids got invested a lot of practice, a lot of good time. We saw uh, Evans make a lot of big plays in our ball games. Now today's all tell players of the game for Miami. Marcus Robinson, outstanding defensive lineman, the defensive end, ten tackles, two of them for loss, and Russell Wilson for the Wolfpack. No interceptions today, 11 for 23, and two touchdown passes. All right, here's Evans, senior, 
graduate student actually he's already graduated he takes a knee ceremoniously and this game comes to an end and what a finish to the season for the Wolfpack and they stay alive they've got to go to practice one more time for a couple of weeks we'll find out their bowl assignment next week but they're going bowling they're bowl eligible the eighth ACC team for that distinction that's our ball game from Raleigh. NC State beats Miami 38-28. More from Carter Finley after this. ACC football has been brought to you by Progress Energy. By Carabas Italian Grill. By Hyundai by Hampton Hotel, and by the new AT&T. The NC State Wolfpack become the eighth ACC team to go bowl eligible with their win over Miami this afternoon. They finish at four and four in conference play. The Coastal Division won by Virginia Tech by virtue of their win over Virginia 17-14. And of course, will still be decided is the Atlantic Division. Will it be Boston College or Florida State going to Tampa? Back after this word from your local ACC station. Smiles abound in Raleigh as yes, they're going bowling. Eligible for a bowl game after a four game winning streak to finish out the season. Russell Wilson and the NC State Wolfpack with Andre Brown and company have brought their season to a successful close and of course they're going postseason and they'll find out their assignment here in a couple of weeks they defeat the Miami Hurricanes who are also bowl eligible today many thanks and it's been a great pleasure to work with Doc Walker Thank Mike Cosworth the rest of our crew I'm Steve Martin reminding you you've been watching exclusive coverage of Atlantic Coast Conference football from Raycom Sports